an ordinary city in the most ordinary buildings, and from one of these buildings someone shouted that he did not agree with something. At this moment, the soul moved into the body of the sleeper, and the young man, as if returning to his body again, opens his eyes and wakes up, bursting out of bed in sweat and shortness of breath, clutching his face, sitting down and thinking about his own about what had happened. He was shocked at the realization of what had happened to him at the moment. The young man tried to understand what had happened. Did he really not die and could the corpse be hot touching his face? Our hero thought. Looking at his hands, he realized that there were no calluses on them and his skin was the same as ten years ago. Repeating this phrase again, he was shocked. Suddenly remembering that he was sitting on the bed, the hero decided to explore his room. It was a room familiar to him and things familiar to him. The young man realized, by the fact that it was the same university dormitory where he lived ten years ago. The same bunk beds, the same window and tables that students used to study at. Everything was as before. Jumping out of bed and lifting the pillow, he looked at the bed, saw his phone there, and there was a picture of a beautiful girl on the phone. The time on the phone showed 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Then the young man decided to look at himself. Turning on the front camera of the phone, the young man saw a young face, touching himself for it. This face that was without scars and realized that there could be no mistake, he was reborn. He went back to the day when the game Judgment Day appeared. Sitting up on the bed and looking at his phone, the young man remembered that before that he had just become the 10th grade god of war in the Land of Dragons. Heading through the castle back then, he remembered that two war gods from the neutral camp had invited him to a celebration, and when they were talking, the zombie emperor suddenly invaded them. The zombie emperor was a terrible monster with many tentacles and a hideous muzzle with teeth. This monster did not look like a human. When the young man fought the zombie emperor, the two gods who invited the hero to this castle betrayed him and joined the zombie emperor, and then posthumously wounded him, our main character. All these actions took place far in the future, when our hero has already aged, and his face had time to cover the scars and time has completely changed. Lying on the floor, still far in the future, the two gods who betrayed him stood next to him. Then he saw a female silhouette walking towards him on heels. He realized who was in front of him, it angered the hero. It was the same girl who was earlier in the photo in his phone, a beautiful student girl who did not age a day, unlike our hero. Right behind her was the zombie emperor, who was peacefully following the girl. It was Yao Jinghen who brought the zombie emperor, and not only managed to reach an agreement with the Lai family, but also completely blocked the legendary world. Yao Jahan is the first beauty of the university. Of all the possible lucky ones, she chose our hero. He himself was glad that he was dating the most beautiful girl at the university. Together, the guys looked quite great and looked happy. But who knew that before the Day of Judgment, the Lord of the Lai family gave her an assignment to get closer to our hero and all in order to expand the territories of the Lai family's possessions with his help, and then get rid of the young man. The Lai family belongs to the three main clans of the Dragon Country. Their influence in the Land of Dragons could not be underestimated. At the cost of his appearance, the young man was able to get out of their clutches, being on the verge of death. Once a clean and beautiful face without scars, it was mutilated by a scratch all over the face and nothing else remained from the old days. For the next ten years, the young man hid from the non-mercenaries of the Lai family. Going back to the present times, we see a young man sitting on his bed in the dorm and thinking about the girl, because if she wasn't protected by the Lee family, he would be able to take revenge on her. The young man thought out loud. But then he realized that now he was reborn and the end of the world had not yet come. And this girl had not yet become his girlfriend. And therefore he could deal with her in advance, sitting on the bed and thinking our hero and rejoiced at such a coincidence. While he was rejoicing, a message suddenly came to his phone. And looking at it, he saw that Yao Jinghan, the same girl, had just texted him that she was taking classes with the children today and would not be able to celebrate her birthday with him. So she apologized to him in advance. The young man, angry, did not understand what classes she was talking about, because it seemed to him that she was conducting classes completely not where she meant, and he knew where and with whom. He was so unhappy with the current situation that he hit the bed, thinking about what a great gift for his birthday, as he thought, and the guys could still take everything on camera and give it to him then there would be no limit to his happiness. He thought that it was necessary to pretend that the young man was not offended in any way. Turning to Yao Jinghan, the young man wrote that there was nothing wrong with that. Since the girl had business, the young man offered to meet later in an abandoned warehouse behind the sports field and wrote that he was bored. Then the girl decided to ask why exactly there, saying that she would have to leave before 6 o'clock, so she had to do everything faster. The young man answered her that he had a surprise for her. 
The young man wondered why Lai Hayabo hated him so much, because he probably would never know. The young man thought it was all because of his father, who died so early. The young man wished with all his heart to celebrate his birthday with a girl for the first time. As a result, I received a shameful video with congratulations. Because they mocked him, the young man missed the best time to improve. But in his new life, he won't let it happen again, and his abusers will pay for everything. Talking about it in his room, the hero decided to act. The sunset was burning and the schoolchildren, returning home, thought about why the sky suddenly turned so red, because it even scared someone. One young man told his friend that an expert said that such a phenomenon happens only once in 5,000 years, and therefore he asked his friend not to worry and admire the beauty. Our hero, turning to the sky, thought that this bloody sky was a harbinger of the beginning of the doomsday game. At 7 o'clock in the evening, the doomsday game will change reality, and the whole world will turn into a huge game. While everyone was enjoying this spectacle, the hero understood that for many this sunset was the last, because few will be able to survive. The young man was heading to the meeting place. Arriving at the appointed place, the young man opened the door and entered the dark sports section, where a girl was waiting for him, sitting on a chair, asking why he came just now and what kind of surprise he had. The girl also asked him to speak faster, because she still had classes. The girl was sitting on a chair and scolded the guy, and the same one was smiling at her and saying that she should not worry, because she would soon find out everything and the young man was pulling a knife out of his sleeve. In front of the hero sat Yao, who looked expectantly at the young man and informed him that if he did not tell her what was the matter, then she would go about her business. At that moment, the young man suddenly grabbed her by the throat and the girl's phone, which she had previously held in her hand, jumped aside. And she, frightened, looked at the young man in horror. She did not understand why the guy grabbed her, saying that the young man had gone crazy and asked her to let go. Then the young man looked at her and began to name the dates, March 16, 478, 53,239 yuan at the Devil Hotel. Then about March 29, 478, 109,984 yuan at the Emperor Kai Hotel. The girl did not understand that the young man was muttering to himself and asked to let her go. But the young man just kept repeating the dates, March 29, 478, 109,984 yuan at the Emperor Kai Hotel. Here the girl convulsively began to remember, but did not understand why all these dates and names of hotels seemed so familiar to her. The young man repeated the new date, April 13th, the nightclub goes 4,099,999 yuan and putting the girl on a chair. He saw from her face that now she understood that he knew everything, and the girl realized that these were the places where she and Lai Hayabo made love. Then, looking at her boyfriend, who found out about everything, she rushed to the young man grabbing his hands and saying that she would explain everything. The guy, still holding her by the throat, smiled, asking how the girl wanted to explain everything to him. Taking her phone and holding Yao at a distance, he unlocked the phone to view their correspondence. In the correspondence, the girl told someone who was called the owner on the phone that she could no longer wait, and was going to him. Then the owner asked if the girl had told Lin Zilo, if not, then it was not interesting. The girl wrote that she said and that this idiot believed that she went to conduct classes. Then the owner asked if the girl had prepared a birthday present for her boyfriend, and she replied that the owner should not worry because everything was ready. After that, the girl decided to remind the owner to buy her the bag that she liked. After reading the correspondence, the young man silently looked at the screen, and then clicking on the screen, the recording went on, and he seemed to be voicing this video himself because he remembered it all by heart. The girl said that she was congratulating Lin Zilo, who was a rag, on his birthday. Then the young man continued his voice acting. The girl talked about how he himself thought why the most beautiful girl of the university was dating a beggar guy like him. The young man was an orphan and he had nothing but a pretty face. The girl continued to look at the guy with horror and did not understand how he could find out. The young man continued, if Mr. Lai did not need him himself, the girl would not have looked at him. Then, after seeing the video she was recording from Mr. Lai, the girl could not understand how the guy knew all these words. The young man continued that if not for him, Mr. Lai would not have chosen her and now she would not have enjoyed all this luxury, so thank him very much. At this moment, Lin was showing Yao's happy face on his phone. Sinking into a chair, the girl sat in complete misunderstanding of the situation. The young man continued to hold her by the throat until now and asked Yao, probably she was wondering how he knew all this. Then the young man wished the girl to go to hell and think about it, lifting her by the hand and killing her with his knife, wishing her to die. Then her body fell, flashing her pink hair, and the hero, exhaling heavily and kneeling down, 
realized that these were his 10 years in a previous life and realizing this, he began to cry. Then, calming down and starting to grin, he realized that he had finally done it. But it was not enough, after all that he had experienced over these 10 years in his previous life. Calming down, the young man thought about whether there was also Lai Hayabo and his family, who was hiding in their estate. Then the computer distracted him from his emotions, congratulating the owner on his rebirth. The Doomsday Game Trainer system has been activated. Looking at his phone, the young man read that Judgment Day would come at 7 o'clock in the evening, and now it was only 6, where did this system come from? And besides, Lin had never heard of the trainer system before. Then the computer reported that this system provides data about the Doomsday game, and also brings the owner of the system the best gaming experience. The young man realized that he was in the computer world, where familiarity with the system was completed, so he needed to get his first gaming award. Looking at his hands, the young man did not understand what he was supposed to get here, but then he saw the icon of the download system, where it was written that the reward was being downloaded. The screen that appeared showed an inscription where the young man was congratulated on receiving the first award, Absolute Explosion. Absolute Explosion. When killing any zombies, the benefit of exploding items increases from 1 to 100%. When killing one zombie, you need to blow up one item and the benefits will be greater. In the Doomsday world, 1% is synthesized when an object explodes. Killing a large number of monsters is equal to a weak probability of survival. Looking at all this, the young man realized that his own experience could not compare with all these numbers and it was not very convincing whether it was really possible to trust this system. And then a screen with information appeared in front of him. On the screen it appeared that this was the trainer system of the Doomsday game. Then there was the name of the hero, a level that could activate an element of the system with every 10th level. The young man's level was 0, Super Trainer 1. Absolute Explosion When killing any zombies, the benefit of exploding objects increases from 1% to 100. The hero did not have any tasks yet and there was no regular trainer either. It was all the information that the young man read, considering that it was very cool that now he had all the information he needed and could track it in this system. Looking at the system in front of him, he saw that with every 10th level increase, the owner gets a new super trainer. When completing tasks from the system, the host receives a regular trainer, weapons, items and other rewards, the system said. Then, overjoyed, the guy thought that with this system he would be able to overthrow the Lee family. But then the young man thought that the Lai family was one of the three main families of the Dragon Country, and their strength could not be underestimated. This family had not only a huge number of well-trained warriors, but also secret body hardening techniques, so after the Day of Judgment they were able to extract a lot of benefits and strengthen their power. But the young man, standing in the dark hall, reasoned that he could not guess why Lai Hayabo hated him. Perhaps it was because of his dead father, probably. The young man will be able to find out the truth only if he gets into their family. The young man planned to kill Lai Hayabo, and then hide and gradually strengthen his strength. But since he now has a system, he will be able to become stronger much faster, and then destroy the Lai family. Wearing a hood, the hero moved towards the Crimson Sunset. Leaving the hall, the young man said that he was already going to the Lai clan. The body of the girl he dealt with was left lying in the hall. The crimson sunset was shining and people walking along the streets, rejoicing in their day, looked at how beautiful it looked. Everywhere there were couples who were enjoying their lives and how they were in love, wanted to go somewhere or take a beautiful photo. The hero, passing by them, thought that now they are enjoying love, but very soon they will start killing each other. The young man came to the love hotel, greeted the manager, he asked for a room with hourly payment and also asked to bring three bottles of water and five buns. To himself, the young man thought that if this system turns out to be unreliable, it is better to prepare and stock up on food. The manager, reading magazines, did not pay attention to the young man at all, but without turning around he said that a room for one was 40 yuan per hour, rolls cost 3 yuan, and water for two. Clearing his throat, the guy held the booklets in his hand and asked him to call the girl number three. Lying in his room, the hero watched what was happening on his phone. In five minutes it was supposed to be seven o'clock in the evening. The last time the girl he called became the main boss of zombies in the area. And the last time the hero grabbed the dagger began to defend himself from the girl with horror looking at what was happening to her. After she turned into a zombie, he killed her right in this room. Looking at the phone, he thought that this time he would be able to do everything faster, sort everything out and get a reward, and at the same time check the system that he now had. Then they knocked on the room and said that the girl at number 3 had come, then the guy asked to come in, because the door was open. 
The beauty who appeared came inside and said that the guy was very cute and that she was lucky. Climbing on the bed to the young man, she asked why he was not ready for her arrival yet. The hero just looked at her without answering anything. Then the girl began to prepare herself, because after the young man she had another client. The guy asked the girl to go to the shower, because he thought to himself that the smell of zombies came from her. Before the beginning of the end of the world, there are signs by which you can understand who will turn. After waiting a little, the young man took a knife out of his bag and decided to go to the shower, where the girl was already taking a bath. When she heard footsteps, she said that she knew that the young man would want to play, so she was already waiting and asked to come in quickly. After turning off the water, suddenly the girl's body went to divorce, resembling a disease, and she began to turn into a zombie, while she screamed terribly, and when she flew out of the bath, our hero was already waiting for her. And then the girl turned into a terrible zombie, as the guy thought, heading towards him, she wanted to attack him. But the young man was ready and therefore pulled out his knife and killed the zombie, who immediately died. Exhaling that he had coped with the first zombie, the hero found himself on the system panel, which reported that the guy got into the doomsday game. The computer wrote to him that the game had already started, stopping was impossible, and all players had to develop independently. The system showed that zombies in this world have sharp hearing, but with weak eyesight they can only notice moving objects. In front of the guy was a complete summary of information about zombies, as well as how they looked. The system also reported that Judgment Day had already arrived. 80% of the people of this world were turned into zombies, the remaining 20% were lucky. The computer asked me to enjoy the game process. Of course, the main goal is to survive, because if the hero dies, he will not be able to continue the game. In order for the game process to be more successful, it was necessary to familiarize yourself with the rules and there were rules for survival in front of the young man. The first rule sounded like this, killing people, animals that turned into zombies. The player increased his level and also received new elements. Game experience and level were closely related. Level, then reputation, after coins, a place for stocks, basic characteristics, talents and attributes. The second rule, for killing people, animals that turn to zombies, the player received equipment, items and material resources. In front of him was a scale of levels and equipment in the game. First there was bronze, then silver, followed by gold, then diamond, after diamond there were epic legendary and mythical levels. The computer also asked the young man and hoped that he was not scared to death yet. As for the higher levels, while the hero did not need this information, the system believed. The young man stood silently and listened to all the rules that appeared in front of him. The computer has already reported further that opportunities are hidden everywhere in this world and the young man should pay special attention to their search. Modern technologies in this world were now useless, including means of communication. It was shown on the computer screen that cellular means were now unavailable, including telephone communication and any other. All communication technologies create interference and therefore it was not worth trying to use them. But still the phone could be left to read books and play games. Then the system reported how people turned into zombies. It was possible to turn into a zombie only through a bite or wound, so you had to not be afraid of the contagiousness of zombie blood. If, say, the hero killed him, and blood got on him, then he would not turn. Nighttime increases the basic characteristics of zombies, it is better to hide at this time. Zombies were able to evolve over time, so you had to try to keep up with them. There's a lot more that the trainee system could tell him and the game itself as a whole, but it wasn't worth doing now because the system wanted to see who could survive in the next seven days. Now the zombies were very weak and therefore it was necessary to kill as many as possible, and the game said that the young man would not complain that she did not warn him. It was necessary to remember that nothing is impossible in the Doomsday game. The last thing the computer wanted for our hero was a pleasant game. The young man stood and looked attentively at the screens and listening to all this with a stone face held in his hands a knife with which he had just killed the first zombie, who had recently been a man. After all the rules and explanations, the game asked him to enter the player's name. Thinking about himself, the young man decided to take a different name and start his path of revenge. The path will prepare to pay for all those who offended him in the past and by entering the name Yitsu, the hero decided to continue this day. The game congratulated the player Yitsu on the successful killing of zombies and told him that he gets one experience point and one coin, and goes to the second level. The game congratulated the young man on becoming the first player to kill a zombie and achieve the best result on this planet. The first drops of blood. This information will be available to all players. At this moment, the hero was standing in front of the body of the girl number three, who had recently been a living person. 
The young man was calm and just listened to what the system was telling him, watching the corpse that lay right in front of him. Izai, the player Lin had such a name now, was happy about it. He finally achieved a result that would be published. All his past life, he fought and even became a god of war, but he had never been awarded like that, so the young man rejoiced. The system showed that there was a general announcement that informed everyone that she was congratulating the player Yazai on killing the first zombie. The young man became the first to achieve the best result on the planet, the first drop of blood. The system also advised everyone that it was necessary to take an example from the player Yazai. At this time, zombies began to walk the streets and all the people tried to hide, running away from them. A girl named Jai Yao, sitting in the library, was indignant that she had not even finished conceiving the instructions yet, and someone had already been able to kill a zombie. It shocked and amazed her at the same time. Another player named Gu Gayaji, standing with a bat, was completely drenched in blood, and a zombie he had just killed was lying in front of him. The young man was surprised at who managed to get ahead of him and he was very interested to look at this person. Our hero decided to sit down and an information summary appeared in front of him, about himself. Player, Yazai, nicknamed, the first drop of blood, who had a second level, reputation, a thousand in coins, a thousand in one. It also reported its basic characteristics. The strength was equal to 11, the energy of 15, the body quality of 10 and the speed of 13. Talents were also indicated on the summary, deep study, epic level talent, saying that the young man knew a lot of fighting techniques, and could also apply basic skills. There were four attributes, strength, affects physical strength and attack power, energy, affects skill release ability, cooldown, and frequency of use, body quality, affects the ability to survive and defend, speed, affects reaction and speed. All this was also reported in the summary, which could be requested from the system at any time and see what was added there and what was less. Looking at the screen, the hero smiled and thought that the energy and speed were quite great. There was also an epic level talent. In a previous life, the young man would not have achieved this in 10 years, as he believed. The hero also received reputation points and coins for some types of equipment. Reputation was just needed. There were often discounts in the store. The last drop of blood, our hero now had such a nickname, and he sat thinking about what he had learned. And the most important thing is the title. Now, when he kills every day, the power of defeat will increase by 100%. They also gave him 4 attribute points for nothing. This will increase the power of defeat many times more. When he entered the room, he saw that there was some kind of meditation pendant in front of the zombie. It was a basic level equipment. When using this equipment, the energy will increase by 1 point, and the energy recovery rate will increase by 10%. Overjoyed by this, the young man thought that it was very cool, and indeed that reward of 100% explosion worked. Immediately won the bronze equipment. Then the system popped up, saying that the young man used the trainer system wisely and did not forget about the existence of the system. At the same time the young man, scratching his head and smiling shyly, decided to take his pendant. After that, he said that he understood everything. If he had such a chance, then how could he not take advantage of it? At night, the power of zombies increases and it was necessary to hide until it was 8 o'clock in the evening. And before that, the hero decided that he could kill even more zombies, so Yazai will start with other rooms in this hotel. Getting up from the floor and stretching, yawning, the young man, taking out his knife, decided to go wander around the hotel. But then something attracted his attention, and he turned around. After leaving the room, the hero went for a walk around the hotel. Making his way along the corridor, the hero was careful and walked carefully, holding a knife in his hands. There was a room in front of him, from where strange sounds were coming, and he pulled the door handle, after which, opening the door with his foot, he saw that a zombie was standing in front of him. After turning into zombies, people retained some of the features that they had during their lifetime. This zombie seems to have been doing a lot of physical labor after seeing a zombie heavily pumped up. Information appeared in front of the young man that it was an ordinary zombie and his level was equal to 1. The basic characteristics sounded like strength equal to 12 and energy equal to 5, body qualities were 13, and speed was 9. The young man thought that even if this zombie had characteristics higher by a couple of points than other zombies, but he decided that he would cope with him easily. Standing in front of him and teasing, the zombie ran at our hero, and the young man began to evade his attacks. Although the zombie was of the first level, he was strong enough. Plunging a knife into the zombie's throat, the young man thought he had won, but he still tried to attack him. But after an unsuccessful attempt, our hero defeated the zombie. 
the system showed that the zombie was dead and congratulated the young man on killing the zombie and getting one experience point and one coin. The young man thought that this time he did not cope very well, because he could not kill a zombie with one blow. The falling corpse in front of him upset the young man. The zombie was lying on the floor and a reward appeared next to this zombie, which gave a material resource. Seeing this, the young man began to read the summary that he had come across a beef fillet steak. It was a beef steak cooked according to a special recipe of Donglin County. With the addition of a special prepared soy sauce, this will make a great dinner. Method of use After activation, the steak will appear in the hands of the hero at the optimal temperature. The young man saw that material resources was written on the card, and now it was very valuable. But when the store opens, it will cost only a hundred coins, so it was nothing special. But to begin with, the young man decided that it would work in opening the system, which depicted the cells that were called a backpack. The young man put a stake in his virtual backpack and went on. There was a bag in the corridor and the young man decided to climb into it. In the bag he saw a photo where a happy father was holding his daughter, and taking out a hammer, the hero realized that this man had been a repairman before, because there were tools in this bag and a child's badge was pasted on the tool. The hero decided to check all the rooms, but there was no one in them, and then in the next room he heard sounds. There was someone in room 206, and breaking the lock, the hero burst into the room, telling him to open it and it was a fight against prostitution. But such a sight appeared to his eyes that the hero did not expect that it was possible, looking at it with slight bewilderment, and surprise, he even froze in his pose. When he entered the room, he saw that two zombies were in bed and realized that he had forgotten that he was in a hotel of love, and not in an ordinary hotel. Going inside the young man, I realized that even though people turned into zombies, but how to do it, they have not forgotten. Then the enraged zombie, seeing that the young man had disturbed them again, flew straight to him and began attacking the young man. Then our hero joked that he really prevented these two zombies. Looking at the former man in front of him, the hero realized that this zombie's characteristics were two points lower than that of the worker he had killed earlier. The zombie was too furious and tried to attack our hero, but he attacked the zombie in response was able to defeat him with two blows, and then the girl who ran from behind, attacking our hero. The computer reported that the young man killed two zombies and received two experience points and two coins. Then two boxes appeared in front of him and, overjoyed, the guy realized that it was a double reward. It looks like the system was telling the truth about the 100% explosion. In a previous life, after killing a hundred zombies, he could only get half a bottle of water. But in this life he was incomparably lucky and I rejoice at how great it was to be lucky the young man opened these boxes. The system congratulated the hero because he received the explorer's eye in a double copy. It was a one-time bronze level tool that helped to explore the situation within a radius of 10 meters. Once was enough for 10 hours and the hero decided to use this skill. Sitting in the corridor, he heard that someone was shouting and complaining that someone was making noise upstairs, saying that now he would punish this villain and then a man was coming up the stairs. When he saw the young man, he was very angry that he was making a fuss. Approaching the young man, the man asked him to kneel down and ask for forgiveness or he would expel the hero from here and tried to hit the young man. But he didn't care, and he just dodged his weak attacks himself holding a knife behind his back. The man was very unhappy that the young man dodged his attacks and tried to hide from him, saying that he would find him and deal with him. Then the hero, standing right above him, told the man that it was too hard to kill him now, so it would have been better for him to wait an hour until the zombie bit him. After that, then the young man would finish him off, but unfortunately, immediately the young man thought that he could kill a lot more zombies. So he did not want to waste time on the man and decided to kill him in advance, saying that in the world after the end of the world, the one who had a stronger blow survives, but it was it's a pity that it wasn't about this man. Knocking on the next door, the hero said that he had come to clean the sewer. Then again at another door and said that he had come to fix the bed and knocking on the next door. He said that it was a food delivery, but no one answered him from all these doors. Then passing by another room he heard some sounds and thought that it was from a zombie. Opening the door to the hero, I saw a zombie standing right in front of him. It was a man in torn clothes who started attacking our hero directly. But the young man dodged even though this big guy was very fast. Attacking him, he began to deal with zombies, depriving him of life with just one blow. For killing this zombie, he was entitled to a trophy, vodka fashion and the young man rejoiced, saying that this big guy helped him perfectly, 
holding his trophies in his hands. After searching the entire room and not seeing anyone in this room, the hero decided that today he would spend the night right here and dropping his things decided to see what was new in the system. The system also informed the respected player Yatsu that he had 6 experience points left before going to level 3. Looking at his phone, the young man, he was very excited and surprised because he saw that it would soon be 8 o'clock in the evening. Going down the stairs, the hero thought that he had to kill 6 zombies in 20 minutes to move to the third level. And running to the side, he saw that there was no one at the reception, although it was written that the girl number 3 serves at any time at the request of the client. Then paying attention to number 3, the hero realized that he had killed 2, and if there were only 3 of them, then there was one more left and taking a hammer, the hero decided to knock on the table. According to the settings of the game, zombies came out to sound. Then the curtain shook nearby and entering it, the hero saw a room, and then he saw a box on the wall from which sounds were coming, pushing this box away, and thought that this zombie had climbed too far. Then looking down, he saw how one zombie was crawling up, and another one was crawling after him. But then they fell and it was very funny for the hero, so he decided to climb into the place where the zombies were fighting and fight them too. The system, popping up, said that the young man killed two zombies and received two experience points. And in order to move to the third level, he had to get four more points. Looking at his knife, the hero thought that he was already blunt and it was difficult for them to kill zombies. So he hoped that the game would give him some kind of weapon as a reward. Then some light appeared next to him and the hero was dissatisfied with this. The young man thought that the light with which he was at first dissatisfied and went away from danger. But then he saw that the sword of Tang appeared in front of him and thinking that the thoughts were material, the hero was very happy. As he took out his sword, the young man thought that he would have more than just steak for dinner today. The system reported about two fragrant Mamtu, which had no special properties. The sword of Tang. It was a bronze level weapon developed during the Tang era in the Land of Dragons. The length of the sword was 70 centimeters, high strength and capable of piercing armor. Taking the sword out of the scabbard, the hero was very happy that he received this weapon. Characteristics, strength plus one ability, weaken the enemy's defense by 10%, and after the end of the battle, gradually restore the sword. The region of weapons was used by the Tang era wars of the Dragon Country. The young man thought that in fact such a weapon could be bought later, but now it was most welcome to him and added the weapon to his virtual backpack. Looking at the phone, he saw that there were 10 minutes left and therefore decided to get out of the place where he had previously killed zombies. Going outside, the hero stood and waited for the zombies to come up to him. Then four zombies came out to meet him at once, which just the same were needed in order to finish their mission. When they saw the guy, they immediately ran at him and, not fitting into the aisle, they all fell right in front of him. The hero, seeing this sight, thought that he had overestimated the mental abilities of the zombies of the first day. In a previous life, on the first day of the game, the young man sat in the room and thought that his life was over, and on the second day the zombies had already moved to the second level and the hero missed such a time because he was drinking. The young man decided that he would no longer make such a mistake as last time, so he took out the ball and decided to deal with the zombies that were coming right at him. Zombies surrounded the young man and then he decided to deal with them at the same time. Taking out his sword, he began to attack them and defeating all four at once. Making sure that everyone was dead, looked at the sword, the hero thought that this sword was of excellent quality. So he decided to remove it and see what the system would tell him. The system also informed the hero that she congratulated her on the fact that he killed four zombies and received four experience points and four coins. So he moved to the third level and received one free point to the characteristics. To advance to the fourth level, he needed to score another 30 points. Sighing and rubbing his forehead, the hero thought that it was luck that he managed to move to a new level. Then he heard a sound in front of him was another zombie. Looking at the zombie girl, the hero was delighted, because it was a zombie with some kind of intelligence and even came to him herself. Then taking his sword, the young man attacked the zombie again and killed her. At the same time, he was even excited by the fact that it was an unusual zombie. He was immediately able to defeat her and a skill appeared next to the zombie. The hero was glad there was a book with skills in front of him. Looking at the phone, he saw that the screen showed him 8 in the evening and suddenly there was a danger in front of him. The hero managed to jump back in time. Looking in front of him it was a zombie. The computer reported that the characteristics of the zombies were of the first level. Basic characteristics, strength 15, energy 10, body quality 16 and speed was 15. As night fell, the computer explained that at night the zombie gets more different buffs, the body characteristics increase and it becomes more difficult to defeat the zombies and ask the players to look for the right moment. 
a huge zombie appeared in front of the young man, who was very strong. His eyes were burning red, and his body was very strong. He was standing right in front of the young man and the hero defending the ball thought that the strength of this zombie had increased to the maximum in just one minute, and he had to deal with him within the next minute, so the hero decided to attack the zombies first. He pointed his sword at him, who tried to chop off his head, but realized that he did not have enough strength and he could not even injure this zombie properly, but only angered him. Then jumping away from him, the hero took out his hammer and decided to attack him with his hammer, launching the hammer directly into the head of this zombie. The hammer did not kill him, and then the hero decided to use his last weapon that he had left. It was a knife, and then pulling out his sword, he decided to attack him again with this ball. The young man took the sword out of his body and decided to attack the zombie. But the zombie was very strong and very angry for what the heroes were doing to him. So he headed straight at him from the back, which the young man accordingly did not expect. The zombie starts attacking our hero and he starts attacking him in response with his sword. Defeating the zombie the young man looks at all the defeated zombies that were before him, thinking about the characteristics that have already reached a peak if not for his experience. The plus was that he had time to prepare, otherwise the young man knew that he would have lost. While all the ZRMBI were lying on the floor, artifacts appeared next to them that the young man could collect. It was already 8 o'clock in the evening and the characteristics of all the zombies outside had increased by at least 50, our hero thought putting the corpses in one place. He fought with the last zombie for too long. If he hadn't managed to finish everything off, he could have attracted others here and having put all in one place, the hero decided to look at the computer what he was telling him. The system told the young man that he used the eye of the researcher. If a person or a zombie approaches him, the protective barrier of the researcher's eye will immediately turn red. The young man will receive a warning and will be able to accurately determine the location of the enemy. At this moment, the hero was setting his eye directly on the floor, after which, exhaling, the young man decided to rest a little and go to the shower. Coming out of the shower, relieved and refreshed, our hero decided to look at what was in front of him. There were several boxes on the table next to him and he saw that there were two more eyes of the researcher, a Peking duck, mineral water and a twilight ring. In his previous life, he had to spend a lot to buy all this. Now it got to the young man just like that and the hero could not understand it, but he was very glad. Looking at the ring, he realized that it was a cool thing. It made the young man very happy. The computer reported that the Twilight Ring was a bronze level equipment that was great for disguising at twilight. The speed was plus one, but after dusk it reduced the feeling of presence by 30%. The young man decided to put on the ring and see what would happen. Then a skill book appeared in front of him, which shone directly into the young man's face. The hero wanted to watch it, and the system informed the respected player Yang Zai that she congratulated him on receiving a skill book and now he could use an unlimited number of skills from this book during the game. The young man, of course, thought that the number of skills was unlimited, because the explosion coefficient of this item was also unlimited. Ordinary players of 10, 80 levels can receive special skills only 3 times. So, for example, a level 80 player had only 3 skill lists, and that was it. The young man saw the unfortunate ones who managed to get only 3 skills in the end, and then these skills did not fit them, as about the young man we talked about earlier. Many players at 60, 70 levels had only the skills acquired by their new profession. The person who managed to get the most skills received the nickname of the God of Skills. In total, such a person managed to score 25 species. In his previous life, the hero possessed almost 10 types of skills, which already exceeded 99% of the players. And after looking at the Book of Skills, the hero reached out to her, praying to Buddha, Allah, Jesus and the Jade Sovereign together, so that they would take care of him when he opened this book thinking that let him get the best skill so that he could successfully start this life and the hero decided to open the pages of this book. And just as he opened the golden pages of the skill book, he came across a spin attack. Spin attack is a war skill 120% of defeats are achieved by throwing a weapon, and after reaching the furthest distance or the enemy's body, the weapon returns back. The flight distance of the weapon to the target and back is the same. If the weapon touches the enemy during the return flight, the percentage of damage is 80%. If the weapon encounters obstacles, it does not return back. The young man, madly rejoicing and looking at the book, thought that this was a very rare skill. This skill allows you to return weapons back, and even increases the percentage of enemy defeat. However, the skill's recovery time is quite long. When the hero increases his energy level, he will be able to reduce this time and then he will be on top. Sitting in his room, he was insanely happy because he was able to receive for that day. 
the system asked if the young man wanted to learn the skill, the conversion attack, and the hero pressed the yes button. Taking his sword, he decided to try this skill, but then suddenly he realized that he was insanely hungry and deciding that he needed to eat first. He went into his virtual backpack and chose the food that he had presented. There was a chicken, eggs, schnitzel, alcohol and a burger on the table in front of the young man. Thinking about how delicious it all was and looked in five-star restaurants, the hero began to eat. After eating, he collected all the garbage and decided that he needed to rest a little. Looking at the moon that was in front of him, the hero thought that if he wanted revenge, he could no longer follow the plot of the game, as in his previous life. Otherwise he would step on the same rake and choosing a pen from his store with the paper, he decided to write a letter. On the paper it was written warrior, mage, and he began to paint about the warrior. Warrior, as you level up, your strength and body qualities also increase by one point. Two points are added to any characteristics, you can choose as desired. When choosing the path of defense, the quality of the body increases. When choosing the path of a warrior, you need to increase your strength. When choosing an assassin, you need to increase the speed. When choosing an arrow, you need to increase the probability of hitting the target. Specialist warriors can notice changes in energy and speed. The most important thing is to go according to your real strength. Mage, when you level up, one point is added to energy and speed, and two points are added to the characteristics at will. Most players mainly increase energy if it is necessary to improve the quality of the body or strength. Then you can become a warrior mage. Only 1% of players belong to the secret specialty. The probability of activating a top class secret specialty was very small. Here the young man wrote a word, a ghost, on his paper, thinking that if he had succeeded in his previous life, then he would succeed in this one. The secret specialty, unlike the usual specialties, takes only 1% of the players who received a top-class secret specialty, there was even less. After reaching the 10th level, the player can activate the experience in the system and choose a suitable scenario for himself. Although the tasks for the secret specialty are extremely dangerous, but the reward was also great. Earlier, the young man wrote about a ghost. Ghost, it was a special specialty the highest level of the assassin's specialty, which increases the speed to the maximum and also gives a huge percentage of the enemy's defeat. Before changing the specialty, as the level increases, speed and strength increase by 2 points, and special characteristics increase by 3 points of choice. If the young man hadn't activated a special ghost in his past life, he wouldn't have been able to hide from the Lee family for 10 years. The hero wrote all this and summing up, everyone who received these specialties, which he wrote about earlier, in the future become gods of war or gods of magic. Then he decided to paint about a knight of light, a magician of dead souls, an Asura demon, a titan, a life eater. After that, the hero decided to look at his characteristics that he had and add strength to himself. Then he decided to think about how he met the holy knight, then remembered about that diamond level item. The young man thought that he should have written about it earlier, because now he did not remember where the sword that the hero had once seen was. Warning came, and the young man was destroying everything in the house, saying that he could not calm down because his plan went awry and everything was because of this girl Yao Jinghen. He was unhappy, thinking about where she was, because not only was he unable to finish collecting the material because of her, they also did not send a gift in time to this garbage Lin Zilo. The young man was destroying everything around him, saying that this damn game also came at the wrong time. In front of us was Lai Hayabo, the young master of the Lai family. The butler who stood behind him and silently watched the young man's hysteria was special assistant Lai Hayabo who informed the gentleman to be a little quieter. Many of their guards had already been fatally wounded, and if their house was attacked by zombies again, they would not be able to stand. Turning to the butler, who had been silent before, the young man asked how he thought. If he killed this young man Lin Zilo, then he would be able to meet his late father. At this moment, two people were fighting at once in the butler. The angel was saying that the master had specially brought up the young master in this way. And the devil was saying that he could not be mistaken if the Lai family had only one capable heir. It would help to avoid internecine strife. With such a character, it would not be easy for the young master after the coming of the end of the world. Addressing Zhao Bo, the young man said that he would not calm down. Then the butler again asked what had happened. To which the young master asked him if his father had not said a couple of days ago that a company of hired hunters would come to him. Maybe the time has already come to send them to these two. He talked about finding Yao alive or dead. And also this guy Lin Zilo, he will bring him to a nervous breakdown. The butler also reported that these mercenaries had been specially trained for the young man since childhood. They would definitely cope with any task that the young man would give them. 
Then the gentleman thought about how he would sweetly take revenge on the girl Yao and the guy Lin. At this moment, our hero began to sneeze, thinking that someone was clearly remembering him. Lin Silo jumped out of the window and was ready to go about his business. There were zombies everywhere around him. He packed all the essentials in a backpack and decided to attack the zombies with a sword that was in his hand. The computer congratulated him on killing a zombie, received one experience point and one coin. And this happened several times until the young man moved to the fourth level and received one point of characteristics of his choice. After that, in order to move to the next level, he needed to gain 40 experience points. So he killed the zombies that were next to him. Looking at his sword, the hero was glad that the rotation strikes were a great thing that he used yesterday to raise the energy level as well and then the hero will definitely be satisfied. Thinking that the recovery time of the rotation stroke was too long, the hero realized that it was enough for today. He collected all his attributes, which fell to him among them, were a clean men's shirt, spicy chicken with rice and a super accurate watch. The system congratulated the young man on the fact that he received new tools and when he saw what kind of tool it was, the young man was very surprised and delighted at the same time there was a scroll in front of him. It was a scroll of reinforcement and equipment, a bronze level item. This scroll can increase the level of bronze level equipment. And taking the scroll, the hero thought that something was finally useful. The equipment after the reinforcement also increases in characteristics and at the first use the reinforcement was guaranteed. Then the quality of the gain will depend on the increase or decrease in the level. The hero, standing in the middle of the trees and taking out his sword, decided to try how successful the reinforcement was and then the computer congratulated him saying that the hero received the sword of Tan plus one. Sword of Tang, a bronze level weapon that was used by the Tang Wars of the Dragon Country. The length of the sword was 70 centimeters. It has the ability to penetrate armor as well as high strength. After strengthening, also strengthen the characteristics. The strength characteristic was plus two, the ability to lower the enemy's defenses by 15%. With the studied blows, the strength increases by 10% and after the battle is able to establish damage. The hero was delighted with what he had and opening the computer, he looked at his personal characteristics of the player Yatsu. The level of the special forces showed the main characteristics and seeing that there was a plus sign next to the force. He pressed it at this moment the hero put his sword in his backpack, and the system congratulated him on the fact that the young man received a mask with concealment. The concealment mask was a bronze level item that allowed you to hide your nickname level, and other basic information for 30 minutes. It was possible to use it twice a day as much as possible. At this moment, the hero put on his mask, and it was successfully activated and decided to lie down to rest. The hero decided that after he rested, he would continue his journey. Looking at the sky, the young man reflected that if he reached the fifth level today, he could immediately go into battle and not waste time on quests. Quest is also the best way to earn experience points, food and equipment in the Doomsday game. The player only needs to find one of the many portals to the quest. There are also separate special quests that he can complete in separate places. It was also possible to get a big reward. The hero decided that as soon as he gets a level, he will immediately go to the estate of the Lee family. Having collected all his attributes, the hero decided to use one of them, which was for hours, making his way through the zombies that lay dead on the ground. He went to the side. Lee family homes. There were abandoned houses in front of him and he was attracted by two doors that were connected by one lock. Breaking this lock, he entered the building. Chairs, cups were scattered in front of him and everyone said that life was boiling here recently. But then he saw traces of blood and a zombie appeared in front of him. It was very unexpected for the young man. But he managed to chop off his hands so that he would not attack him. Then he heard a cough behind him. Then the hero felt that there were more zombies behind him and having killed the next one, he decided to move further into the house. Then a picture of a family appeared before him. He realized that this house was someone's family. He realized how many people had already turned into zombies and that he could not sympathize with everyone. The computer opened in front of him and the menu was presented and there was so much that the heroes did not know what to choose. But then what would come across would be, he decided and chose food from the menu. Sitting on the sofa in front of him there was a lot of food, and he decided to eat. Then the hero lay down and decided to see where he was now, and now he was on Pinction Street and after lunch he would go east and reach about a certain point on the map that he was looking at. 
he still had to score a few points up to the fifth level, and just on the way home, if he killed a couple of zombies, then that should be enough. Stretching, the guy realized that he had to go further, but he realized that there were several zombies in front of him, and the young man was only thinking about how to fill his stomach forgetting about these rats. Here, standing next to the door, the hero heard that someone was discussing whether he had left or not and asked if someone had heard the sound of footsteps. There were three people sitting in the bushes, one girl and two guys. The guy asked if the hero came out of this house or not yet, because they also smelled food. Like he did then, the young man decided to go out the window and heard that they were discussing how he had a couple of food cards. The girl who was behind them said that it was not good to take away food by force. But the young man next to her laughed, because it was inevitable, it was necessary to threaten the guy with a knife, then he himself would give them all his cards. At that moment, while they were discussing all this, our hero got out through the window and was already sitting behind them, watching these three rats that were thinking about how to rob him and take away his food. Only the girl was sad and thought that it was all wrong. In the bushes sat Jai Kaiji, who was the girl's brother and who told the girl that it was necessary to think logically. If the young man broke down their door, then it was a burglary with penetration. The sister said that most likely it was so, the girl thought to herself that dad had become a zombie. She and her brother immediately ran out of the room and even took nothing with them, and had not eaten anything since yesterday. So there was nothing to do because this guy had food and then she decided that she would be with everyone and that it was necessary to take away the young man's food and our hero attacked them at this time. After injuring one young man with his sword, drops of blood fell on the girl, and jumping back, she began to scream, because until recently a guy was standing next to her, and now he was dead. Our hero, standing with his back to her with a bloody sword, said that he wanted to save some energy, but he did not want zombies to be attracted here and attacking the girl. He killed her and her brother. When he finished dealing with them, he decided that they had no reason to live without each other. And for the fact that they wanted to rob him, they got what they deserved. Lin believed that they still had to thank him for stabbing them and just letting them die quickly. Otherwise in this game they would have only suffered and thinking that he had done a good deed again. The state had to reward him. There were drops of blood everywhere. Two family members who had recently survived were also dead, as was their father, who became a zombie. Having dealt with all of them, the hero decided to go further. At that moment it was already getting dark. The sky was burning with a crimson red sunset again. Zombies were walking in the streets, looking for food and decided to climb the building in which people were hiding. The girl who was looking out the window was calling her dear one to see if it was a superhero. But the young man did not understand what his girlfriend was talking about, asking about what kind of superhero she meant, because they locked the door and zombies definitely would not come to them. Then the girl asked to look at the young man in the window, who mercilessly killed zombies right and left. Seeing this, the young man who was standing next to his girlfriend said that this guy was just like a master, so he dealt masterfully with these zombies. But due to the fact that the young man was wearing a mask, they could not find out any basic information about him. The girl, inspired by the fact that she saw such a hero, decided that they should have called him to her. Maybe then he would help them. Her boyfriend said that she had come up with something strange, because if they didn't show their location, then a bunch of zombies would come to them. Besides this person he disappeared for information, so he didn't want to reveal his identity. Would he really want to help them after all this? A girl with purple hair was shown on the phone who was conducting her live broadcast and immediately she was looking out of the window and shouting about whether he wanted to save this poor girl who had just been on the phone screen. The young man, not paying attention to her, began to collect his attributes, which included toothpaste, meat and mustard and medicines from products. The girl continued at this moment to shout from the window, saying that really the young man did not understand who she was because she had 30,000 subscribers on the internet, and this meant that he had to save her. Picking up a flower, she said that rich men gave her cars every day. And some guy in a mask just ignored her and she decided to show him by throwing a flower at the young man. Hearing this, the hero turned and saw that a pot with a flower fell next to him. The girl attracted his attention and started shouting again that she was here and asked to save her soon, because she had several zombies here. She was scared, and if he saved her, she would become his wife. The heroine thought about herself that some beggar was playing a game with her and who did he think she was at all. At this time, the young man used meat with the zombie virus, which was called zombie seducer among the players. If you get this meat, the zombies in the area of a hundred meters will immediately go to his smell, and holding this terrible meat in his hand, he threw it out the window directly to this girl. She thought that he just threw her food and said that she needed a safe place, not food. Did he not understand her? She could not understand what was wrong with this guy. 
Then the door opened into her room and a bunch of zombies fell in, tearing the girl apart, and her phone just crashed and lay next to her. Messages were still coming in the broadcast chat. Did the girl really have the mood to blog and how could she even live this life? Someone asked how it was possible to raise these quests and just tried to find out at least some information through this chat. But no one answered there. The hero went on, thinking to himself that this would be the first lesson of the end of the world. Without taking off his mask and not paying attention to anyone, he decided to achieve his goal and therefore went straight to her. The first lesson of the end of the world was this, there was no need to ask for help from just anyone, our hero thought, walking down the street, and zombies fell from everywhere next to him and ran after him. The devil's capital, a sports center, the young man was heading straight for him and it had to be here. Two hours left before nightfall, looking at the clock, the hero thought that he had enough. A special silver level treasure chest should be hidden in this sports center. According to the game settings, various quests, robot traders or treasure chests appear in significant places of the city. Treasure chests fall directly to the ground and anyone can open them. In order for the boss chest to appear, it is necessary to kill the main boss and the value of such chests is higher, but it was very difficult to get them. Silver chests contain silver level weapons hidden by equipment. Here the system reported that the young man had come to the sports center of the devil's capital, and the situation in the sports center was suitable for the task, the new task was one is worth hundreds. The guy listened carefully to the tasks and began to read what it meant. He had to show his real strength and kill a hundred zombies in the sports center, the level was unlimited. The requirements of the task are zero out of a hundred, the rewards for the task are one simple trainer, one bronze level item. The completion time was 24 hours. A hundred zombies, the young man was surprised, now most of the zombies have already moved to the second level, and this center was very large. He just wanted to find the chest and hide, and not kill zombies, but now suddenly this task appeared and the young man became interested, and if he refuses the task or fails it, what will he get for it? Then the system asked the young man not to worry, because the trainer system was created to help the young man and to make him enjoy the gameplay. So there is no punishment for refusing the task or not fulfilling it. On the contrary, the young man will receive a comforting hundred coins. Our hero was very surprised by this answer. In any case, even if he loses, he will not lose anything. The hero thought and decided to accept the task. As far as he could remember, the silver chest was supposed to be hidden in a warehouse on the third floor and if you went through the door that was in front of him, you could go through a safe way, so he went straight there. When he reaches the first aid post on the second floor, it will already be 8 o'clock in the evening. Our hero decided to spend the night there. There was a bed in the first aid post, so he could sleep there. And tomorrow he would continue his journey again and by about lunch the next day he would reach the warehouse on the third floor. And when he found the chest, he would leave here by jumping off to the outer floor. That's the plan our hero had, who broke the lock on the door with his ball and decided to go further. But then a zombie appeared in front of him, the first one he decided to attack. Attacking a zombie, the young man decided to deal with him with one sword, but one sword was not enough, so the hammer that he kept with him went in and after defeating the zombie basketball player, he died. The young man thought to himself that probably this young man did not think that he would come to play basketball and turn into a zombie. Then looking at him, he saw a box next to him. It was an artifact that the young man could take for himself. Turning the zombie over, the young man decided to pick up the box. It was a light and sound grenade, and a key fell out next to the zombie, which the young man also decided to pick up. The light and sound grenade was a bronze, level disposable weapon that released a bright light, blinding the enemies around. The duration of the blinded state depended on the sensuality of the enemy's eyes and how much the enemy looked at the light. After picking up this artifact, he had already decided that it was a great thing, and tomorrow he would go to the Lie Estate, and there and try this group control weapon. Holding a grenade in his hands, the hero thought. In the other hand, the young man had a key and he was wondering if it was the key to all the doors of the center or only from some specific ones. So putting a grenade in his backpack, the young man decided to go further. After all, the less he breaks into the door, the less zombies he will attract and leaving this zombie on the floor, the young man went in the opposite direction. Opening the door in front of him, he carefully decided to see if there was anyone in this hall. There were a bunch of zombie students in the hall who had played table tennis and other games before, but our hero hid under the tennis table and began counting how many zombies were next to him. He counted 17 in total they wandered around the room unhindered, knocking each other down. These zombies were almost at the same level in terms of characteristics as our hero, so an ordinary person will need all the strength to cope with one, 
but if the hero works hard, he will cope with 17. Lin thought to himself and looked at the door ahead. He saw that the hall door was closed if he made less noise then the zombies outside won't come. At first, he decided to finish off two and go to the fifth level and then the other 15 will be able to show their martial art. In front of the young man there was a window with his life force, which indicated that he was at the fourth level, and there were only four zombies left to kill in order to move to the fifth level. Then he began to attack. At first there was one who was right next to him. After killing him, the young man decided to continue with the others. Then they turned on him and saw that they were in danger and ran to attack our hero with the whole crowd, with their burning red eyes and insane thirst for hunger. The young man, looking at the zombies that were coming at him, was full of confidence and determination that he could defeat everyone and held his sword in his hand, which helped him in the fight against these zombies. Looking only at their legs that were heading towards him, zombie legs, the young man held his sword in his hand, ready to attack. Zombies, of course, did not understand anything, even though they had once been human, but they were no longer alive, and were heading towards the young man only to tear him apart. Therefore, our hero immediately decided to attack the zombies, too, so that they could not attack him first and putting two first, cutting off their arms and legs, he decided to move on. Then more zombies appeared in front of him, and he went straight at them, putting one in the throat first. And then the system congratulated him, because he killed a second level zombie and got three experience points and three coins. The zombie fell right behind him. Then the system congratulated our hero on the fact that he moved to the fifth level and received one point of characteristics of his choice, and before the next level he needed to gain 100 experience points. Closing the system window, the young man decided to look at the quality of his body, which gained another point and then went into battle again jumping in front of him right on the table where he had been hiding before. Lin began to inspect the situation. All the zombies continued to climb in his direction and then from behind. He was attacked by a once former young man who also turned into a zombie. The hero attacked him with his sword and was able to defeat the zombies. But then the door opened and there was a man standing outside the door who was watching what the young man was doing. Seeing how he was fighting with a lot of zombies, the young man jumped back, cursing and fearing that he was unlucky again, because it wasn't him who could kill the zombies. Here in front of him, right on the door, there were dents from human bodies, and the young man, looking at it, thought that, judging by the outlines, they were zombies. The player who is in the room probably had good resources, the guy guessed. A long time later, he decided that he would be able to take the resources from the young man only when he was killed. The guy was sitting near the door and had already despaired of waiting, turning into a shriveled mushroom from how long he had been sitting near this door, waiting for the young man to be killed and he could take his resources. Then the young man decided that it was enough to cool off and wait, because it was getting on his nerves. He decided to open the door and see what was happening to the young man, because it looked like his strength was already running out, then he would help him go to the next world. It was necessary to figure out how to lure more zombies to the young man. And looking at how our hero is fighting with the last of his strength, this guy was obsessed with the idea of taking the hero's resources and be sure to get out of this situation alive. Lin Zylo, still trying to defeat all the zombies that were in front of him, was already on the verge. He had no strength left. Suddenly he heard the cry of another zombie and thought that this only attracted other zombies more. At that moment another one came in the door. And from another door, because of which our new acquaintance was watching our hero earlier, suddenly some noise started. And the young man turned his attention to it. Because any noise could attract zombies, the young man knew about it perfectly well. Lin Zylo thought that when the end of the world came, it was 7 o'clock. At that time, the sports center was not yet closed, and the medical center is usually locked after class. It turns out that this door was locked after the end of the world. He inserted the key and opened the door to the infirmary. He thought that he hoped that whoever was inside this office would be honest with him. But as soon as he crossed the threshold of this office, a man approached him from behind and put a knife to his throat, asked him what, who was he, and where did he get the key to the infirmary. Lin Zylo was not at all afraid, he just grinned and said that he was very vigilant, it's not bad. After that, he grabbed the man by the hand in which he was holding a knife, and saying that only now he contacted the wrong person, squeezed his hand with such force that he dropped his knife. After that, Lin Zylo put his foot under the knife, and he jumped back so that Lin Zylo caught him, and he twisted this man's arm, 
so that this guy wouldn't scream. Lin Zilo put a plug in his mouth. Then he clicked on the warehouse. From there he took out a blanket. It was a useful thing for the end of the world. He took it out at his leisure. After that, he began to curtain the windows and told them to turn on the lights. The woman said that if they turn on the lights, they will attract your zombies. Lin Zilo asked her if she couldn't see, or what. He's already closed all the windows, so let her turn on the lights. The girl wanted to object again, but someone else turned on the light. The room lit up with light, and everything became visible. The girl, the doctor and the man next to her were shaking with fear. The guy who attacked him with a knife thought that so many zombies had attacked him, and he hadn't died yet. He really wanted to wait until he finally died and take advantage of the opportunity. Lin Zilo came up to him and said that he had seen this look many times before, and I asked him that why do such crazy eyes. He came closer to him and sat down so that their eyes were on the same level, after which he told him to listen. When the end of the world comes, in no case should you look with hatred at other people. He was holding the knife in his hands, and said it was because he would kill him. Then he slashed his throat with a knife. All four people who were standing in this room held their breath. Lin Ziluo saw another knife fall out of this guy's sleeve and thought that it looked like this guy had prepared very well. If he hadn't killed him, he would have killed him. After that, he looked at the people who remained here and scratched his head, told them not to think anything bad, because he is a good person. All four of them thought that if he was such a good person, then they were saints in general. But the horror froze on their faces, and they didn't say anything to him. Lin Zilo, as if smiling guiltily, said that they had seen everything for themselves. It was he who provoked him. Did he have to do that? Isn't he always for common sense? If they all treat him normally and trust him, then nothing bad will happen. Then the girl took a step towards him. After that, she stood up for Lin Zilo and told the others that they had seen everything for themselves, and he really had to do it. She gave them a strained smile and asked that they didn't think so, did they? They said in unison that they agreed. Lin Zilo smiled and said that was good. After that, he put his hands in his pockets and walked strictly past three people, thinking that today the battle in the ping pong hall went awry. If things had turned out a little differently, then he would have definitely completed this task. He sat down on a chair nearby and yawned, told the others to get the corpse out of here and wipe the blood. They could not resist him, so they said in a frightened chorus that yes. After that, two guys wrapped the corpses of this guy in a sheet and carried them to the side. Meanwhile, the girls were cleaning up the blood. Lin Ziluo closely watched the girl with long hair and thought that it seemed to him that he had seen her somewhere before. A system window appeared next to her, in which it was said that her nickname was Zhang Yesu. She has no titles, and her level is zero. Seeing this caused laziness, thinking that Zhang Yesu. So this is her. In his previous life, after the end of the world, he had already seen her. This girl had a secret specialty of a healer. Then he was very hurt and told her that he knew she was a healer. He asked her to help heal the wound on her face. He will do everything for this. Zhang Yesu glanced at him briefly, apparently assessing his injuries, after which, quickly turning away, as if she did not want to look at him at all, she said that this scratch was related to the soul, so it would not heal. Then he was seriously injured several times, and she cured him. Although the specialty of a healer in the world after the end of the world is very respected and does not pose a threat. However, this girl's own strength was too small, and she could easily be killed. All my we had a very hard time because of this end of the world. And this girl looks very different now. What a coincidence, after all, that, having been reborn, he met her again on the second day of the end of the world. He closed his eyes and thought even harder, thinking that they had a doctor, and also a nurse and a repairman. Then the four of them heard some noise on the other side of the door. They all tensed and held their breath, but something was hitting with such force that the door began to crack. Then they were very scared. At that moment, Lin Zilo opened one of his eyes and looked at his watch. It was 8.30 on the clock. Then he immediately got up and took out his cards, spread them out on the table. A lot of dishes appeared on the table, and Lin Zilo began to eat them alone. The nurse and two men looked at him and their stomachs rumbled, and one of them even drooled. Zhang Yesu couldn't stand it and asked that where did he get all this food. Maybe they can, too. Apparently, Lin Zizivielo this and made up his mind. He grinned and thought that they were caught. He showed them a plate of rice and asked them if they were really hungry. It's very simple, they have to help him with something, and he will help them. The nurse was so scared that she even staggered back. Zhang Yesu came up to her, apparently for support, and menacingly told Lin Zilo to talk already. Although she herself was very scared and thought that did he really want to. But that Lin Zilo had already approached her and showed her a piece of paper, said that it was a list of medicines that he needed. They should, together with the nurse, find all this for him and bring it here. Zhang Yesu asked him what was going on, 
that he wanted them to help him find a cure, didn't she? Lin Xilo leaned towards her so that their eyes were on the same level and said yes, why? Zhang Yesu thought, why is this guy so strange? She smiled sweetly at him and, taking a sheet of medicines, said that everything was fine, they would help him. After that, Lin Xilo approached the man and, handing him a piece of paper, said that this was a list of items, which he needs. They must make them for him tonight, tomorrow morning, namely at 6 o'clock in the morning, he will leave, and how many items they will have time to make, so much food they will get. The man accepted this list, and the other said that well, all their tools are already here. Lin Xilo handed them his cards and told them that they could use this. After he handed out the tasks to everyone, he left at last, saying that then let them work hard and then he'll go to bed. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, let them come to him for food. After that, he came to another room. He put barriers around himself, thought that this place was too close to the door, so the zombies would walk back and forth, thereby preventing him from sleeping. He'd better be careful. He went into his warehouse and was pleasantly surprised, thought that he already had a lot of everything. The system told him that he had 22 experience points left to earn before moving to level 6. On another window of the system it was written that the agent is worth hundreds, he has to show his real strength. He has to kill 100 zombies in the sports center the level is unlimited. Task requirements, 45 out of 100. Reward for the task, 1 simple trainer, 1 bronze level item. The time to complete this task is given exactly 24 hours. Lin Xilo was not worried about this at all. He yawned again and thought that tomorrow morning he would have another six hours. Therefore, he will have time for everything. Then he lay down on the bed, closed his eyes. The next morning he left the room. He found that all four of them had been working tirelessly. They had not slept all night. Lin Zilo praised them and said that they did a good job. The nurse was in a semi-fainting state, but when she saw Lin Zilo, she was even more scared. Zhang Yesu put her hand on her shoulder, supporting her colleague. Lang Xilo handed them his cards and told them they wouldn't have to fight. This card alone is enough to last a whole day. He thinks it's a reasonable price for each card. Everyone thanked him in unison for this. Zhang Yesu just blossomed all over and thought that she thought he would kill them and take all these things. But apparently she was really wrong. She looked at the card he gave her and thought that she didn't expect him to keep his word after all. He's still not as cruel as she thought he was. Lin Zilo, taking the first aid kit and turning around, whistling, said that they had just made a good deal. Zhang Yesu asked him what and how to use these cards. Out of surprise, he dropped the first aid kit and thought that he had forgotten that there was not even introductory training in this game. In a previous life, he himself learned to open his warehouse for several days. After that, he took out some more cards and told her to look carefully, and he himself thought that he would do a favor to Zhang Yesu. Lin Zilo took out his card, which had a chicken drawn on it. At the bottom it was written that you can use a chicken. It was this button that he pressed. After that, food appeared on his table, and the card was gone. Zhang Yesu was delighted and thanked him for the lesson. Lin Zilo looked very pleased with himself. After that, the four of them stood in a circle and started using their cards that Lin Zilo had given them. After using several cards, they set a whole table for themselves, after which they decided to eat. Lin Zilo was sitting not far from them at a separate table and drinking soda. He looked closely at Jun Yexing and thought that he needed to warn her. She has already helped him out so many times in his past life, if he can establish a relationship with her in this life then it will be much easier to pass the game than it is now. After he finished his drink, he got up from his chair, and sternly said with a degree of indifference that at 12 o'clock they all need to leave here. He went to the switch and turned off the light. Then I went to the window and took off the curtain that I hung yesterday. It was already very light outside. Lin Zilo thought that by then he would have finished off all the zombies in the sports center. Then he turned to leave. Already holding the handle, I told everyone else to watch and not miss the right time. Zhang Yesu, apparently, was very worried about him and told him that it was very dangerous outside because zombies were there. Lin Zilo looked at her and told her to worry about herself better. He didn't say anything else, just opened the door and went outside. There was a whole crowd of zombies outside. Lin Zilo took out his sword and killed the nearest zombie, piercing through its neck. For killing this zombie, he received a fishing rod, which was already in his warehouse. Laziness Zylo picked up the corpse of this zombie and thought that it would be easier, otherwise it might attract other zombies. And after that, he began to kill the village deftly and quickly the rest. It took him very little time. Then he went to the toilet, and after waiting for the right moment, he abruptly went inside. But what he saw threw him into a strong shock. 
he fell into a stupor and, cursing, said that there were zombies without pants. This zombie was really standing with his pants down near the toilet. Noticing some movement in the area of the door, he turned around. But after a few seconds, he attacked Lin Zylo. Apparently, having thought everything out in advance, Lin Zylo did not immediately kill him. He only stepped back one step. And, since the zombie had his pants down, he got tangled in them and fell. Lin Zylo was obviously pleased with the work done. But still a little confused, he asked this zombie that maybe they would fight as usual. Otherwise it will be too easy for him. After which, he pierced his neck with a sword. An inscription appeared above this zombie that he was dead. Lang Zylo bent down to the corpse of this zombie and, after searching it, took what he needed. He put his eye on the table with this zombie, then left the toilet. He thought that very few people survived in this sports center. And those who came to the center have such characteristics, to be honest. And the zombies, on the contrary, have increased their characteristics after treatment. So for ordinary players, it's just a nightmare. Then he noticed the sign of the women's toilet. And heading there, I thought that there were probably zombies there too. It's unlikely that there are any living people there, isn't there? But still, he was very confused, because this is all a women's toilet. He blushed all over and thought that this was a women's toilet, wasn't it? Well, anyway, it's already the end of the world. For the sake of his assignment, he doesn't have to worry about such little things. Then, overcoming himself, he went into the women's toilet. And at first glance, I didn't find anyone there. It was even very quiet there, although it was unusual. After passing several booths, he stopped at one and thought that it seemed there were two zombies here. After which, he smashed this booth with one swing of his sword. And I saw two zombies of different genders there. The guy from behind was hugging the girl. Greatly surprised, Lin Zylo thought that this game is getting more and more interesting. When these two zombies saw him, they immediately pounced. Lin Zylo deftly dodged their attack. But, noticing their bottle under their feet, he did not immediately attack them, deigning the two of them to slip and fall. And at the moment of falling, he pierced two throats with his sword at once. The system congratulated him on killing two zombies and getting four experience points and five coins for it. Lin Zylo put his hand in his pocket and started looking for something there. Lang Zylo took his phone out of his pocket and started circling around this strange couple, began photographing them from all angles. He thought that about zombies, it turns out that they look like ordinary people, except for the brain, nothing has changed for them. And this couple in general in complete chaos does not forget to be transmitted to human passions. He took plenty of pictures of them and, looking at the photo, thought that there was no. Judging by the height of this guy and this girl, isn't that the famous couple? In his previous life, this zombie couple was first seen in a sports complex. They are always inseparable and understand each other without words. Their strength is inferior only to that of the zombie king. Together they could even fight the god of war or the zombie king. He scratched his head and said that he did not think that he would finish off such a famous couple on the third day. After that, a chest appeared next to this pair, and he got a card called the Fusion Stone. The Fusion Stone was bronze level. It was a bronze level disposable item. It allows you to merge two bronze level items of the same type into a single one. As a result, a new item with a higher level appears. The level can also reach silver. Lin Zylo took this card for himself and grinned. After that, he was about to leave the women's restroom. But then he noticed something. There was a strange glow in one of the booths. Armed with his sword, he headed straight there. But there was another such chest. Lin Zylo was very happy and said that today was a very happy day for him right now. He also found a bronze level chest. The system congratulated him on finding a bronze level treasure chest. He also gets an additional 10 reward points for this. He was asked if he wanted to open the treasure chest. It will take him 30 seconds to open this chest. Lin Zylo, without hesitation, said that he needed to open it. After that, the system started counting down. And after 30 seconds, the dream dog was opened. He received a card with an apple. Lin Zylo thought that he really hoped that this apple added strength or speed. The system said it was the fruit of bronze level characteristics. It is also a one-time bronze level item. It is also called the fruit of the immortals. Characteristics. After using the main characteristics increase by two points. This type is very rare. This is a bronze level item that is able to permanently increase the main characteristics after moving to level 6. He will be able to use the fruit and add a maximum of 2 points to his characteristics. Other players will not know that his stats have increased. If two players share this raft, then each of them will get 1 point. Lin Zylo immediately used this card and happily said that it means this fruit permanently increases the characteristics. Right. That's pretty good. Then he went to the faucet and washed this apple well. 
and only after that he decided to eat it. He even burst into tears from pleasure and said that it was delicious. It tastes better than anything he's ever tasted. The system notified him that he had used the fruit of the characteristics and two points were added to his characteristics. Now his characteristics are Strength 18, Energy 18, Body Quality 14 and Speed 18. Lin Zilo took out a map of the big carpet. After that, he came out of the women's restroom, thinking that there were so many surprises in this sports center. He should have killed the last zombies as soon as possible. After that, Lin Zilo went to another room, where a whole army of zombies was waiting for him. Everyone immediately turned to him and rushed at him. Just then he needed his map of the big carpet. Stepping on this carpet of zombies, they began to slip and fall. Lin Zilo was glad that his plan had worked and thought that this way he wouldn't bother the zombies in other places. After that, he started shredding zombies, sprinkled with a system alert, which said that they congratulate him on having killed a level 2 zombie. And for this he gets 2 experience points and 3 coins. For killing the next one, he moved to level 6, and for this he received 1 point to the characteristics of his choice. To move to the next level, he now needs to gain 200 experience points. After killing the next zombie, he was congratulated for getting a resource card. Then he killed another one and got another resource card. Having already killed quite a large number of zombies, the system congratulated him on getting the bronze level equipment. This is a super light and sound grenade. He managed to unlock a new bronze level equipment. He also gained plus one point to his strength. Now his strength is 19 points. He reopened his assignment, which was called one worth hundreds. He has to show his real strength. He needs to kill 100 zombies in the sports center. Its level is unlimited. Now he has already killed 62 zombies out of 100. In the mountain of corpses, he found a small chest. He reached for one and got another card. These were Leo's wristbands. It was a bronze level equipment. The pulse did not possess the power of a lion, which is able to make others tremble with fear. Thanks to this card, such characteristics as strength plus one, body quality plus one, attack power increases by 10%, and the effect of intimidation is also achieved. The deterrence effect includes coordination is reduced. If an enemy uses a skill, then the skill is blocked. The system told him that he could put on a helmet or mask, and only one item out of two would work. He can also wear jewelry around his neck. On the upper part of Lin Zilo's body, she can wear armor, a cloak. She can wear trousers with the lower part of her body, a pair of shoes on her feet. He can wear wristbands, gloves, a bracelet or a ring on his hands. Lin Zilo can only activate the actions of one item. The equipment belongs to a rare species, which is why they do not add points to the characteristics. Each piece of equipment has different properties. He can wear equipment depending on his needs at the moment. Lin Zilo decided to wear wristbands, and this added to his plus two strength. After that, with a cocktail in his hands, he went on. Opening the next door, he saw the corpses of zombies. He seriously passed by and thought that ordinary zombies do not have such power. They can bite a person at most and turn him into their own kind unless they can still eat a person's brain if he is in a bad mood. And only two could have done this, the first of them is the zombie boss. The zombie boss is at a higher level than a normal zombie. He has more power. The zombie boss loves to eat people very much. If there are no people around, then the boss, maybe there are others like him in order to get enough. Lin Zilo thought that about two are zombie animals. Stronger animals turn into zombies more easily. Weaker ones, such as mosquitoes, rarely turn into zombies. Out of a million mosquitoes, only one becomes a zombie. Zombie animals especially have a weakness for people. They like to eat the brain, but they will not miss zombie people either. Lin Zilo bent over one of the corpses of this zombie in order to get a better look at his wounds. And what he saw scared him very much. He thought, was it really a zombie cat? He hates zombie cats very much because they have high sensitivity and excellent hearing. And this cat knows for sure that he is here right now. He decided to see if this cat wanted to get in and attack from under the Tishko or directly. He concentrated and thought, where is she now? He must determine her location in order to attack first. After concentrating, he opened his eyes and apparently felt something. Lin Zilo abruptly opened his eyes and saw that it was a zombie cat flying straight at him. He reacted in time, and that's why he managed to evade the attack of this zombie cat. And he even managed to attack her with his sword. The system told him that this cat was a zombie with sharp claws. She is also a level 9 bronze level boss. Main characteristics, strength 21, energy 10, body quality 9 and speed 20. Ghost attack speed increases by 30%. The effectiveness of the attack, the defeat of the enemy's strength must be 120%.
the body during the attack comes into a ghost state and the percentage of injury is reduced by 50%. Lin Zilo thought that this cat is the boss since it has additional properties in the name. The system also said that her talents, such as sharp claws, she can inflict a laceration. The healing time of the wound is reduced by 40%, and the bleeding time increases by 40%. She also has such an ability as a cat's eye. This ability terrifies people with just a glance, and as a result, the main characteristics of the enemy are reduced by 20%, and it can also affect the enemy's combat forces. Lin Zilo thought that this boss had excellent abilities, he even surpassed him in speed and strength. That's why he is the boss of the end of the world game. The rate of wound healing decreases, and the bleeding time, on the contrary, increases. Even if he accidentally injures his arm, he won't be able to recover soon. He grinned and thought that this meant that he would kill her with the help of his rich experience. Then the system notified him that he had received a new task called Kill the Zombie Cat. Cats that have special talents were frequent guests on the third floor of the sports center. Every day people came there who loved to feed the furry creatures. But after the end of the world, cats that were infected with the zombie virus immediately started killing people. Sharp claws dug into the skin of people and they died in great agony. Requirements, tasks, this is to kill a zombie cat. Reward for completing the task, 100 reputation points, 200 coins, 100 experience points, 1 bronze level item. He is given exactly 8 hours to complete the tasks. And there is also a penalty for non-compliance. If he does not complete the task, then he will drop 1 level. And there will also be a decrease in all its characteristics by 1 point. Refusal of a task is also equated to non-fulfillment of the task. The trainer system optimizes related issues that are related to this task. Lin Zilo looked inquiringly. After some time, the system completely booted up. The task was called Revenge on Zombie Cats. The task requirements are to kill a zombie cat. The reward for the task will be as follows. 100 points, reputation, 500 coins, 300 experience points and 1 bronze level item. The reward for tasks has been optimized. The temporary execution of this task has also changed. Now the task completion time was 24 hours, and also there was no penalty for failure to complete the task now. There is no penalty for refusing to complete a task or not completing this task. Lin Zilo looked shocked. He clutched his head and cursed, thinking, is this really still the game he knows? It turns out that he can perform this task countless times, right? In his previous life, all the tasks he passed were of a high level of difficulty, and no matter if he lost or refused, the game still fined him very severely. And for only 1% of the players, the task seemed very easy. But when they met a bronze level boss, only a few could defeat him. And the reward for completing this task was only 50 coins. Lin Zilo curled his lips and thought that it would have been better if she hadn't been there at all. He looked at the reward for this task again and thought that this stupid task now brings a very big reward. And there is no penalty for not completing this task. It's really cool. Then he pressed the accept task button. The system notified him that he had accepted a task called Revenge on Zombie Cats. Now he has to finish the tasks within 24 hours. Lin Zilo went for that cat. Right now, this zombie cat was licking her paws and wasn't paying any attention to him. Laziness Zilo stopped and thought that as long as he knows whether it is possible to succumb to the provocation of the boss, then the person loses. So let this cat attack him one. This cat, seeing him, began to wave her tail in displeasure. Lin Zilo didn't do anything with her, just sat down not far from her. The cat was alarmed and looked at him questioningly. Meanwhile, Hello Lenses took out his phone and started reading Manhua. After a while, he laughed very loudly. Zombie cats obviously didn't like it. She immediately jumped up. And then she attacked him. This zombie cat immediately pounced on Lin Zilo with words to make him die. Lin Zilo managed to dodge. After that, he turned his phone into a sword. And now I was ready to fight with this cat. The zombie cat landed on the floor and hid for a moment, then pounced on him with renewed vigor. Lin Zilo deftly dodged her sharp claws again. After that, he found himself behind the back of this cat and, swinging his sword, intended to inflict damage on her. But the zombie cat, grinning, apparently expected this meanness on his part and deftly evaded, saying that what a treacherous man he was. But he didn't expect her to know everything in advance, did he? After that, with one swing of his sword, Lin Zilo stripped this zombie cat of several claws. The zombie cat jumped back and said that he had wounded her, so let him not expect mercy from her now. Lin Zilo grinned contentedly and told her that she was now without her breasts, so let her try to attack him now. The zombie cat was very angry, after which she began to meow very loudly. It was her ability called Cat's Eye. 
Lin Zilo knew, he tensed up and thought that this cat was creating hallucinations. After that, he began to see terrible pictures himself. Lin Zilo said that he had been playing this game for 10 years, and did she really think she could scare him with these ghost zombies? She's still a long way from him. The zombie cat clearly didn't expect this. She was distraught and meowed questioningly. Just then the illusion of this cat was destroyed. She was injured and flew back a few meters. She landed on her paws and squeezed her eyes shut in pain. Then she ran away. Lin Zilo looked questioningly after the fleeing cat. But after that, don't waste time, he swung his sword and threw it right at this cat. After that, a sign appeared over the zombie cat's head that she was now dead. After that, Lin Zilo was showered with a lot of system alerts. The system congratulated him on completing a task called Revenge on Zombie Cats. They also congratulated him on the fact that he killed a bronze, level boss, a zombie cat with sharp claws, and for this he gets 50 experience points and 100 coins. They also congratulated him on the fact that he moved to level 7, and for this he gets 1 point to the characteristics of his choice. Now, before moving to the next level, he needs to gain 400 experience points. He also became the first player to kill a bronze level zombie and for this he gets a new title. Now he will be called the Bronze Fighter, and also this information will be published for all players. Lin Zilo was very happy about this. A man with green hair, who was also nearby and had already seen this alert, said that this is Mitsu again. He asked what, yes, who is he anyway? Information was published about him again. Unlike him, the girl was glad. She said that this Yazai is so cool and she asked when he would come and take her as his wife. A man who was dealing with zombies on the streets and when he saw this alert, he said that he was just chasing fame. He didn't give a damn about all these ads. A man with red hair who was sitting in his office and apparently also received this notification. He said that this man named Yazai is definitely from their dragon state. It was day outside. This man was sitting on his throne, said that if a strong player like Yazai wanted to join them, then their power would increase significantly. His subordinates, who had been standing in his room all this time, said yes. Meanwhile, Yazai received a system alert, which said that the message that he had defeated the boss had already been published. Yitsu was very happy about it. He said that this time he would lead a strong furore, and, probably, then he should hide his beautiful face from his fans. He took out his card that had a chair drawn on it and used it. A chair appeared next to him, on which he sat down. Yazai sat down on a chair and finally exhaled. He thought that all the characteristics of this zombie cat were higher than his, although he had to spend a lot of his energy resources in order to defeat her. But still, the fact that he managed to kill this bronze boss, it's a great achievement. And if next time he meets a boss stronger than this zombie cat, his train of thought was interrupted by a system alert. The system congratulated him on the fact that his title, Bronze Fighter, was published all over the world. And he was also congratulated for having received an award such as 1,000 reputation points, 1,000 coins and 3 points for characteristics of his choice. And he also has 1 square meter added to his storage. Yitsu clicked on the game panel. His awards have been highlighted to him at the moment. His reputation was 2,000 points. He had 5,000 coins. He also had 4 points to the characteristics of his choice. His storage or backpack was expanded by 2.4 square meters. And also he was once again congratulated on the fact that he moved to the 7th level and received the title of Bronze Fighter. The next system window contained information about the Reserve Strength Potion. The Power Reserve Potion is a one-time bronze level item. After applying this potion, 20% of strength is restored, and 5% of strength is restored per minute. The duration of this potion is 5 minutes, and after using the reserve strength potion, freezing is turned on for 30 minutes. It was also written that a bronze fighter is a title given to a player who has killed a bronze level boss one. He received such characteristics as, plus 2 points to all characteristics, and also reduces the strength of bosses or simple creatures below the bronze level by as much as 5%. Izai clicked apply, and he said it was just a great ability. After that, she flashed a system window in which he was asked if he wanted to change his rank of one drop of blood to a bronze fighter. Aizu clicked on change without hesitation. After that, she highlighted a system announcement in which it was said that he was congratulated for having changed his title to a bronze fighter. His new rank will take effect within one hour, and also with the use of the title of bronze fighter, its characteristics will change. Its basic characteristics are her strength 23, energy 19, body quality 16 and speed 21. After reviewing his characteristics, Yitsu said that with such characteristics, even if this cat comes to life, 
he will cope with it in two accounts and ask what is interesting what will be his characteristics when he changes his specialty it's already been 30 minutes itsu got up and decided to approach the corpse of a zombie cat a small chest glowed above it from this chest yazai got a zombie cat bugle the zombie cat bugle can summon a zombie cat with sharp claws. The player can control the cat in battle for 30 minutes, but there is a freezing time, which is valid for 48 hours. A zombie cat can take over 60% of the player's characteristics. The experience of killing and the coins of the cat will go to the player. If the cat is killed, the resources will not be lost. Yitsu was very happy about this and said that wow, this is the same item that is able to summon a zombie cat. That's the loot, and this means that he now has an eternal assistant. In wool, meat and claws can be turned into gloves, food or a tool. The zombie cat called him just a monster, and a cruel man. Itsu picked up the corpse of this cat by the scruff of the neck and said that she was a real treasure from the ears to the tip of her tail. Then he threw it, apparently, into his storage. After all this, he decided to head to the warehouse. His eye, standing at the doors that lead to the warehouse, he thought that he remembered that the silver chest was in this warehouse. Then he opened the door. He saw a mess in the warehouse. Various skulls, blood everywhere and gouged out eyes. I was a little surprised, I thought that, and these cats have a very unusual taste. Itsu was in a stupor and thought that such a picture would make any person's hair stand on end. Well, it's the end of the world. But here's what if the cat has collected so many eyeballs at the usual time. Itsu, standing at a loss and looking at these eyeballs, did not know what to think. But after all, he decided not to waste time and began to scour this warehouse. Itsu said that there must be something valuable hidden here. If you doesn't find anything here, then it means he just came for nothing. Then he found a treadmill, and the stick to hold onto was tied to dumbbells. I immediately imagined how some cat started playing with it. Clearing his throat, he said that this cat teaser looks pretty unusual, but the rest is just garbage here. But he still hasn't lost hope. He approached the object that was covered with a blanket and said that okay. He had to finish the job and find something worthwhile, because it remained to see what was hidden under this white sheet. Then he pulled off the sheet and found the chest. Itsu was very surprised and asked if it was really that simple. The system notified him that he had found a silver chest. His reward is 20 reputation points, and I asked him if he wanted to open this silver chest as well. In order to open the chest, he will need 60 seconds. Itsu did not hesitate to say what to open. The system asked him to wait. The weight of the chest began to open. After 60 seconds, he was notified that the chest had been successfully opened. When opening the chest, he also received an additional reward. Its storage was expanded by 0.4 square meters. He also found 360 coins in this silver chest. When he opened the chest, he received another additional reward. He got 50 experience points, and also a skill book, a card with a winged cape, fell out of a silver chest. Itsu was very happy and said that wow in just one trunk and so much more. He also received a very voluminous skill book, and he was really very lucky. He opened the skill book, and a card with explosive swords flew out. The system said they were explosive balls. This is a warrior's ability that congratulates you to carry out two attacks at the same time. And each attack is equal to 70% of the strength of the characteristics. Two attacks that are also directed at one player can cause an explosion. The force of this explosion is equal to 70% of its own characteristics. Yazai grabbed his chin and said that it was quite good. He just needed such an ability. However, the degree of complexity is quite high. A beginner would definitely not be able to master two attacks at the same time. But Yitsu is confident that his ability will be enough to master this new skill. The system notified him that it was currently processing his new skill called Explosive Swords. And I asked Itsu if he wanted to learn his skill called Explosive Swords. Itsu said without hesitation that of course, yes, and clicked on learn the skill. After that, the system congratulated him on having successfully learned his new skill called Explosive Swords. Yazai looked like he was very pleased with the work he had done. After that, the system provided him with a video lesson on how to properly use this new skill of his. After reviewing all this, Aitsu took out another card from the silver chest. This card was with a winged cape. The system said that the winged cape is a silver level outfit that is made from the feathers of rare bird species. It covers the back and also has a special magic. It gives the ability to fly for a short time. And also such characteristics as body quality plus 2 and speed plus 2 will be improved. Also, this winged cape has additional functions, such as time freezing. It also allows you to freeze time for a short period in case of a jump or fall. 
The recovery time of this function is 20 minutes. Itsu was so surprised that his eyes almost flew out of his head. He said it was a cape with skills. So also this cape increases the quality of his body by 2 units and his speed by 2 units. With this cape, its basic characteristics will be Strength 23, Energy 19, Body Quality 18 and Speed 23. Itsu, wearing this cape, said that he had defeated only one cat and had become so rich. He wanted to deal with Lai Hayabo tonight, but it seems to him that this goal is now too small for him. And he asked that maybe, in that case, it would be better for him to deal with his whole family. Izai walked out of this room, and while walking down the stairs, thinking that there was only one last task left to finish called one is worth a hundred. He went down to the second floor and went into a room where there was a whole crowd of zombies. He quietly walked in and gently knocked on the door, thereby attracting the attention of a whole group of zombies. All the zombies, hearing this sound, immediately turned to look at him. Izai looked very happy and said that this time he would attack first. After which, taking out his sword, he began to shred all the zombies in turn. He handled his new cape very deftly, making full use of all its advantages. Then a zombie was approaching him. Yutsu noticed this and said that he just wanted to try the rotation attack, and he fits it best. After that, I applied my new skill on it and asked if this skill was really so wonderful. This zombie was dead, after which there was a huge explosion, and all the pieces of zombies scattered in different directions. Itsu was very surprised and scared at the same time. Due to this blast wave, Yajai also flew back a few meters. But still, Yitsu managed to slow down with the help of his sword, which he plunged into the covering of this hall, and thereby cut the coating. But thanks to this, he still stopped. After catching my breath, Yazai said that this zombie has higher characteristics than the others. He is at least 30% cooler than the others. However, he was unable to withstand this blow. The attack speed of this sword and the speed of the rotating sword are the same. But compared to the rotating sword, the effect is much better. Well, now all his trials are over. He looked at all the zombies and said that now we can get down to business seriously. The system congratulated him for killing two zombies, and for this he received two experience points and three coins. After that, they congratulated him again, saying that he had killed three zombies and for this he received three experience points and five coins. After he killed two more zombies and got two experience points and three coins for killing these zombies. After some time, the system told Yazai that he had successfully killed so many zombies at the sports center. Thus, he completed a task called One Worth a Hundred. He received a reward for completing this task. He received one simple trainer and one bronze level item. The system also asked him if he wanted to collect this reward for the task right now. Izai took out his bloody sword from the corpse of a zombie and asked if it was really over so quickly. He took out his cards and looked very upset when he found out which ones he got. He asked if he really had already spent all his luck. Why are there only cards with material resources now? After that, he stretched and, heading for the exit, said that okay. He had nothing to worry about. He decided to rest for a while now, and then he would find something else. He sat down on the mats that were against the wall, and the system asked him if he wanted to pick up the reward for the task right now, and also asked him if he wanted to pick up a trainer or bronze level equipment items. Itsu, after weighing all the pros and cons, said that he'd better take the item of equipment first. Perhaps later he will have much better luck with the coach. After all, if he leaves the trainer for later, then most likely he will be lucky and get something much better than now. Then he pressed the pick up button. After that, the system, after processing his request, said that it congratulated him on receiving bronze level equipment items. And it was a ring that absorbs blood. The ring that absorbs blood is a bronze level equipment. This ring is also capable of taking the enemy's forces during a fight with him. By wearing this ring, the owner of this item improves such characteristics as Strength plus 1, Body Quality plus 1, Ability improves by 5% of the enemy's damage severity is transmitted through weapons and transformed into strength. Izai asked what it means that the enemy's damage is transformed into strength and transferred to him, right? Are there really such cool abilities? After that, Yitsu, thinking about it, asked that since the equipment turned out to be so cool, then the trainer might not be very good, right? The system told him that all simple trainers have a practical effect and will be useful to the owner. After learning this, Yitsu said that in that case he wanted to take the trainer. After that, the system notified him that he had received a simple trainer. Yitsu was very much shocked. The system congratulated him on getting a simple trainer. It was a level 1 automatic collection trainer. 
Automatic Level 1 Collection allows you to collect items killed by zombies, which are then placed in storage. The collection radius is 0.5 meters. If there is not enough storage space, then it will simply be impossible to continue collecting. Aitsu, having processed all this, said what it means from now on. His eyes lit up, and he imagined the whole situation, finished the sentence by saying that not only would he get a 100% explosion rate from killing these zombies, but he would also be able to collect items automatically, wouldn't he? Very pleased and happy, he jumped off the mats and said that, and he was afraid that there would be a lot of problems because of the large explosion coefficient, and now he got rid of this headache. And yet something was bothering him very much. He turned to the system and asked that this level 1 trainer refers to a simple trainer, right? The system explained to him, saying that level 1 means the level of the automatic collection trainer. If he gets the automatic collection trainer again, then his level will increase. With the increase in the level of the trainer, the radius of collecting items also expands, and other functions may also appear. The task from the coach will appear in accordance with the situation and the state of the player. The player cannot set the place and circumstances. After listening to this explanation, Yutsu asked what it was interesting. What functions did other trainers have and what would he be able to get next time? Then he went on. Passing by the corpses of all zombie systems, I congratulated him on the fact that he received a card called Barbecue Seasoning, and he also received another Power Bank card with a 50% charge. He was also congratulated for having received a bronze level item called the Explorer's Eye, and he also received a card called Delicious Crab. Here the system said that it found that the quality of collecting items is very poor, and the quality of collecting has started optimization. Now Yazai will receive messages about collecting equipment and items. The cards will be automatically moved to its storage. Upon learning this information, I smiled and said that it was just fine. Then he opened the system, and I saw that everything was really laid out on the shelves. Food, water, tools, garbage, basic items all lay in separate cells. Iz said that it was really very good. Even everything is divided into categories. He thought that at first he fought with this cat. And then the trainer taught him. He also spent a lot of time on it all. And what time is it anyway? He looked at his wristwatch, said that time had flown by so quickly. He rushed off and said that he didn't have time to have dinner anymore. He needs to run to the lie estate faster. Meanwhile, in some big, beautiful and spacious estate, a man was lying on the lap of one woman. Another was sitting next to him. He really enjoyed female company. But then he looked at his watch and tensed up. He immediately jumped up and immediately changed his face. Without explaining anything, he punched one of these girls in the face. He got up from the sofa and asked why they hadn't come back yet. Does he feed them all for nothing? Is it really taking so long to find just a couple of people? Then the butler came to him and reported that the mercenaries had left for the university at 7 in the morning. There are too many zombies out there, so the situation is quite dangerous. It is for this reason that their search was delayed. The gentleman, clearly dissatisfied with the current situation, said that these zombies were back. Have they bothered him that much already? What kind of shit is this? After all, it's clear that he killed these zombies, why didn't he get experience points? After which, he thought that he thought that a boost in the game would be able to strengthen his body. His guards almost killed the zombies, but he was the one who carried the last blow. So why did he get so little experience? But then they fell silent, because they saw someone silhouette in the doorway. Uncle Rong came. A short boy with blonde hair ran up to him and asked if he had already returned. Has he already found the guy with the orphan and the girl who was next to him? Uncle Rong threw the bag he came with on the floor. After that, he told the young gentleman that he had found the girl, but this guy had disappeared somewhere. The young gentleman immediately roused himself and asked what he had found. But where? Should she go to him now? Had she explained hiding from him yet? But Uncle Rong informed the young master that she had been murdered. It's in this bag right now. The young gentleman changed everything in his face and asked what. Uncle Rong said that according to his instructions, they found Yao Xing Han's roommate, and then found Yao Jing Han herself in a warehouse at the university. After that, he bent his head, buttoned the bag he had brought. In this bag, there really was the corpse of the girl that the young gentleman was looking for. Uncle Rong told him that she had been killed and put in a barrel. Inside the barrel, they also found men's clothing that was soaked in blood. Seeing such a picture, the young gentleman felt uneasy. But Uncle Rong kept a stony expression on his face and continued to say that the girl had been severely tortured before her death. The blows were inflicted on the pain points. It seems that the killer is very well versed in acupuncture points. He plunged a knife with a special technique into the most painful places, thereby crushing the girl's muscles into minced meat. Then the young gentleman became very ill. He even threw up. 
Uncle Rong knelt down in front of this girl's corpse and put his hand on her, saying that this man was just a master of torture. Even the most brutal killer wouldn't have handled it so perfectly. And he thinks that Yao Jing Han was killed out of revenge. And that murderer, perhaps he has a grudge against the young gentleman. Meanwhile, towels were brought to the young Mr. Slubby. And sitting on the floor, he said that. But she's the most beautiful girl at the university. Could she really be dating such trash? But then the young gentleman remembered something. And he said that the ellipsis was discarded. It's Mitsu. Is he really? But it can't be, it's definitely not him. He is an orphan. He has neither father nor mother. But then where did he get such skills? And besides, he hadn't had time to send him the video that he had prepared for him yet. He couldn't have known that Yao Jing Han had set him up. Uncle Rong asked the young gentleman that this Lin Xilo, about whom he is now talking, is Lin Zhang's son, isn't it? The young gentleman confirmed this and said that yes, that's exactly it. Then Uncle Rong told him that he was absolutely right, but someone could have helped him. If he could do something that even the most brutal killer of this world is not capable of, then he poses a great threat. And besides, in order to resist such a person, a hundred warriors will not be enough. Now they need more security workers. The young gentleman was very surprised and asked what? Is Uncle Rong really short of people? But after all, he is one of the ten best mercenaries of the Dragon State. And moreover, he has a great team of mercenaries. But after that, he, greatly frightened, began to push Uncle Zhang to the exit, and said that then let him go and recruit more people. Yes, even those who have just started studying. He doesn't want to die. He can't die now, he just can't. To which Uncle Rong calmly replied that it was fine. Let him not worry so much. You would protect him even if he died. And he himself thought that if he could protect young master and the Lai family, then he wouldn't even feel sorry for his life. Meanwhile, Yitsu had already gotten out of that building and headed straight into the forest. Has he already dealt with a bunch of zombies? And the system congratulated him on the fact that he killed three zombies and for this he gets three experience points and five coins. After that, two more of the same notifications came. He was congratulated for having moved to level 8, and received one point for this to the characteristics of his choice. Yitsu was very happy about this and said that he was already at level 8, and he thought that he would climb it only for the fourth day. It turns out that he saved himself half a day. After that, taking out his sword, he thought that since he was rising in level so quickly, he would not have to fight in quests. He was already standing next to Lai's estate and looking at their house. He thought that he had already come to Lai Heabo. Yitsu was so angry at him that, changing his face, he asked if he was ready to pay the bills now. Now soldiers were marching around the circle of this estate. They were on full alert, in uniform and with weapons. Apparently, they were put here to guard the estate and the young master. I've already tried it. Everything is very close and I was hiding in a tree, watching everything that was happening. He looked out of the tree and realizing that nothing was threatening him now, jumped off it and hid in the bushes. He found a button that was located right on the lawn and pressed it. Yitsu praised himself and thought that he had a good memory. This place is exactly where he remembers. Clicking on this button opened a secret passage. After making sure of this, Yazai closed this passage again and, addressing Lai Heabo, he said that she was setting him an escape route, and then he would catch him when he hoped to escape. After which, after doing what he originally intended, he headed away. He set this button in its original position. Itsu said that this is a famous technique of one of the great wars in the Dragon States. And I asked what, and he looks that he has prepared well this time. Maybe he'll beat him after all. Then he hid in the bushes again and began to watch. He noticed the soldiers' uniforms and realized that they were mercenaries. This mercenary squad was his worst enemy in his past life, and Lai Heabo trusts them the most. He grinned and thought that now he knows them inside and out. But he never managed to find out the plans of the Lee family in his past life. Then he heard someone talking. One of the men said that if he went down this road, there should be no problems. The gap is not small if he. Then another man came up, and he was called Mr. Rong. Hearing this, Yazai tensed up and thought, is it really Rong Zhan? He looked out from behind the bushes and, looking at him, thought, is it really him after all? It was really Rong Zhan. He is one of the war gods of the Dragon State. He's a contract killer. Before the end of the world, he worked in the military. He was the leader of an army of mercenaries during the time of military turmoil, directly subordinated to the Li family. He is also strong in various types of hand-to-hand -hand combat, the command of the army, as well as the pursuit of their goals and not only. Yazai went back to his memories and thought that in his previous life, after starting the game, he began to pursue him on the orders of Lai Heabo. After several attempts to catch him still failed, that's when he decided to kill him. 
He drove Yatsu into a dead end several times. One could even say that he is his strongest enemy. But Yajai is Rong Zhang's biggest disgrace. The moment Rong Zhang cornered him, Yazai used a proxy card. That's how he was able to get out of there. Since Yazai slipped out right under his nose several times, Rong Zhang lost his reputation as an invincible mercenary, and Yazai received the title of the greatest disgrace. As soon as they meet, both of them have bloodshot eyes. Then Rong Zhang suspected something and decided to look around. Yatsu hit again, and I thought it was good that he had a very quick reaction. Yazai thought that Rong Zhan was definitely dead this time. If Yazai kills him, then we can assume that he will get rid of the main defender of the Lai family, and then half the work will be done. After which, he took out his card with a mask and applied a concealment mask. At that moment, Rong Zhan ran in here, sensing something was wrong, but none of them saw anything. Then a man ran up to Rong Zhan and said that the young gentleman was looking for him. Rong Zhan said he was on his way. After that, Rong Zhan, accompanied by this man, went to the young master. Yazai carefully watched them, thought that he should not miss his chance. Rong Zhan, looking at that place, thought, is it really empty there? But he just sensed that someone was there. Or was it just his imagination? After that, he told this man that it was necessary to strengthen the patrol and protection of the estate. The man accepted the order. Rong Zhan thought that he didn't care who he was, but those, if he wished the Lai family evil, then he definitely wouldn't leave here alive. It was already 12 o'clock at night. The young master asked his uncle Rong if he could finally go to bed already. Already 12 chams of the night with zombies are now in the active stage, so it is unlikely that anyone will be able to come to them. Rong Zhan was clearly puzzled by something and told the young gentleman that it was better to wait a little longer, because his gut tells him that they are being watched now. The young gentleman was so angry that, taking off his wristwatch and throwing it on the floor so that it broke, he said that he was already tired. He has to sit here all night because of some jerk. The butler Mila smiled at him and told him that if he was so bored, then he could come up with entertainment for himself. The young gentleman squinted at him, then after thinking about something, said that yes, he wanted to have fun. He turned to Rong Zhan and asked him that he had caught a zombie this afternoon hadn't he? Rong Jan said yes. He wanted to bring a test on it in order to invent the best weapon against zombies for the young master. The young gentleman told him that the zombies are already full here. He should give this zombie to him because he wants to play. Rong Jan said that of course, but he was very afraid that this zombie might harm the young master. And he himself thought that, although calming the young master with the help of zombies is not such a bad idea. But the young gentleman assured him and said that it was okay because he would definitely be fine and he is not afraid of these zombies, because there are so many guards in the estate. Then Rong Zhan turned to his mercenary and told him to go and bring the young master today's zombie. The mercenary accepted his order and went to execute it. After a while, a zombie caught today was dragged into the hall. He was dragged by as many as two mercenaries with chains. The zombie itself was completely shackled, and they even had a muzzle on it. This zombie was very huge and ferocious. The young gentleman said to bring him a large cage. After some time, his order was executed. A large cage was delivered to the hall, in which there were women. The girls were all tied up too, but they weren't zombies. They also had collars around their necks. After that, the young gentleman took out a bell and rang it. Hearing this ringing, the girls looked very scared. Hearing the ringing of this bell, the girls seemed to be distraught. They began to rush out. The young gentleman threw the bell out of his hands, said that it was already too boring. He has been playing with these girls for several months, they are so boring to him. If it wasn't for this fucking end of the world, he would have found new ones already. After all, having fun with new toys is always much more interesting. But nothing, because these girls will still be useful to him. He had fed and watered them for so long, so now it's their turn to pay. He got up and, approaching the cage with the girls, ordered the mercenaries to remove the shackles from the zombie and launch this zombie inside the cage. Right now, the young master looked very mad. He shouted that he wanted to watch the zombies devour them. Two mercenaries looked at him and thought, are there really such perverts in this world? After that, one of the mercenaries asked the young gentleman that it would be possible for him. He loves doing it so much, doesn't he? The young gentleman saw no reason to refuse, so he gave him the key and told him to open the cage. The mercenary first went to the cage with the women and opened it. After that, he went after the zombie and, grabbing him with chains, took off his muzzle. Then he commanded two other mercenaries so that they would support this zombie until they removed his shackles, and then let them launch him into a cage. Then a man turned to the young gentleman and said that this was too cruel, and I asked him what could be better to let these girls go. The young gentleman clearly wanted to say something to him, but another man interrupted him. 
This man apologized to the young gentleman and said that this guy's name was Van Dachau. He was sent to replace the guard who died yesterday. Although he is very strong, he is quite stupid. Therefore, let him not be angry with him. The young gentleman approached this new guard and arrogantly asked him what, is he really going to teach him here too? But the new guard kept telling him to let these girls go. The man who brought him here stuttering, apparently, he was very afraid of the young gentleman and, apologizing to him, said that it was his mistake. The young gentleman came close to this new guard and, laughing, said that no one had tried to argue with him for a long time. He asked that he was a Wang Dahu, didn't he? Does he know how to fight? The young master really wants him to show him this. After that, two more mercenaries came by his order. One of the mercenaries was holding a new guard, and two, swinging his fist, was going to hit him. But the new guard deftly stopped his fist. Rong Jan, who was watching this, thought that was he able to stop his fist. And he said out loud that it was very interesting. The new guard clenched the mercenary's fist with such force that his hand began to shake from the strain. After that, the mercenary let him go, and the two of them got up. The mercenary thought that he was losing to this guy in strength. He was very angry at him, even though he didn't show it. And I thought that this guy had disgraced him, and for this he paid with his life. After that, he turned to his comrades and told them to help teach this guy a lesson to him. One of these mercenaries, turning to Hai Sin himself, asked him if he really had too much fun with girls. The mercenary, who was shorter, asked that since when can an inexperienced guard beat him? And he himself thought that the power of this Van Dachau should not be underestimated, and it is also impossible to trust him. After which, apparently, having hit him once in the face, these two mercenaries grabbed the new guard by the hands, laying them behind his back. Hai Zing walked up to Wang Dachau and, swinging his huge fist, hit him in the face, so that blood gushed from the guard's nose. After that, Hai Zing began to beat Wang Da mercilessly, but Van Dachau bravely endured everything. Here the young gentleman intervened and told the mercenaries not to kill him. Hai Zing looked at the young gentleman and said that it was fine. The young master asked that he wanted to protect those girls, didn't he? Then let him look at their deaths with his own eyes. One of the mercenaries said that the young master wanted to have fun. After that, these two mercenaries picked up Wang Dahu and leaned against the cage itself. And they also held his head very tightly so that he did not turn away and carefully watched everything that was happening. Then one of the mercenaries unleashed this zombie, and the three started shoving zombies with sticks into the inside of the cage. Once inside this cage with zombies, he froze for a moment and began to look around, after which he attacked the first girl he saw, and clung to her neck. The girl did not make a sound, after which she died. Van Dachau was watching all this. He was shaking all over, and he started crying. After that, the mercenaries loosened their grip and released him completely. Van Dachau fell to his knees. After that, the young gentleman came up with another way to have fun, and he told the mercenaries to let Van Dachau into the cage, because they have such a strong one. He really wants to see who is stronger than him or a zombie. The mercenaries began to praise the young master, saying that it was their master lie. He really knows a lot about fun. They wouldn't even have thought of that. Hai Zing said that's right, because this is their young master. And they themselves thought that even though it's the end of the world now, but you can't neglect human lives so much. After that, two mercenaries picked up Van Dachau and dragged him to the cage. Meanwhile, the zombies inside the cage tore apart the girls' bodies, tearing them apart. At that moment, Van Dachau was thrown into the cage. The zombie, seeing him, began to look at him carefully. After that, this zombie abruptly turned around and ran straight at Van Dachau. But Van Dachau himself did not even try to put up any resistance. He remembered the words of his mother, who told him to be careful, because she would be waiting for his return. Van Dachau began to cry and asked his mother for forgiveness for the fact that he would not be able to return to her home and take care of her. But after coming to his senses, he raised his eyes and said no, he's not going to die today. After all, his mother is waiting for him at home. Then he got up and rushed to attack the zombie, hitting him in the face. And after grabbing him by the waist, I tried to fill him up. He pressed him against the wall of the cage, but then blood gushed out of his mouth. This zombie stuck its long claws into his side. And then he began to pierce his back, making holes in it. The cell began to fill with blood. The young master was closely watching their duel. And clenching his hand into a fist, he told them to fight. Wang Dachau was already very badly injured and bleeding. But still he was not going to give up and dealt another very strong blow to the zombies. After holding onto his wound, he fell to the floor, and the zombie fell next to him. His lifeless eyes looked up and sobbed, and he asked his mother for forgiveness, because he had let her down. He didn't listen to her. Rong Jan, who was also watching this duel, after seeing Wang Dachao's death, 
closed his eyes and said that it was a pity. Wykson was very surprised and thought that he was able to kill him after all. The other two mercenaries clicked, thinking that he died so quickly, but it didn't turn out the way they expected. Van Dachau's body began to shake. After that, he turned into a zombie himself. Meanwhile, I was all tears on the branches of the tree and carefully watched everything that was happening. Having assessed the whole situation, he thought that, and here is his chance. After that, he jumped down from the tree and, approaching the mercenary unnoticed and holding a knife to his throat, stabbed him. Then he pulled off this guy's clothes and put them on himself. Then another mercenary came out from around the corner and, turning to Addy, this is the man whom Yitsu had just killed, and asked him what he was doing here. Yitsu said that he noticed that one guy had fallen asleep, so he wanted to wake him up. The mercenary yawned and said that he understood. The commander is having fun with the others in the great hall, and they have to guard the gates here. Then two more mercenaries came up, one of whom said that yes, they fought off zombies all night yesterday. They don't give them any rest this afternoon. They don't think of them as people at all. Another mercenary said that he was still fine. He hasn't slept at all for 24 hours. If they are so eager to ensure the complete safety of this estate and the young master, then why aren't the commanders here? Aitsu said yes, and what is there to say at all? They're just not people to them. They are just cannon fodder for them. A mercenary who yawned, apparently suspecting something. I asked Addy that when did he grow up so much. Azai realized that he had been found out, which is why he had to kill these three guys. When he left, he already told the corpses that they were fools who are not able to keep a secret. So they can't live in this world. Then he went on. Then he noticed how one mercenary, seeing the corpse of one of his colleagues, ran away, apparently to report the incident. But Yitsu quickly caught up with her and, taking out his small knife, put his knife to his throat, and then ran the blade across his throat. But the mercenary managed to get his pistol out of the inside pocket of his jacket, and even managed to release a flare. But Yazai killed him, and then went to deal with another problem. It was impossible for everyone in the estate to hear the flare. And that's why Yazai needed to act very quickly. He had no room for error. He took the same knife with which he stabbed the mercenary just seconds ago and threw it right into the signal rocket so that his knife pierced through the rocket as well. After that, this signal rocket, along with Yazai's knife, fell not far from him. Yitsu walked up to the flare and crouched down, pulled his knife out of it. Yazai said that it was a good thing that in his previous life he had researched all the Lai family's combat supplies, otherwise he would have been so unlucky today. The system notified him that all the guards in the outer part of the estate had been destroyed. His path of revenge has successfully begun. And also Yitsu received a special task, which was called an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye. This assignment stated that no one would be left alive after insulting Yazai. Tonight, Yazai will become the true god of death and reap the souls of everyone present at Lai Manor. After that, the requirements for this task were also highlighted. It was said that Yazai needed to kill the remaining 269 people in the Lai estate. He has now killed 0 out of 269. The reward for this task, one simple trainer, one piece of bronze level equipment. The time to complete this task is 12 hours. After that, the system asked him if he wanted to accept this task. Yitsu didn't hesitate to say that it was great. Young Master Lai Hayabo had another reason to die. Then he pressed the accept task button. The system notified him that he had accepted a task called an eye for an eye. And he also crossed into the magic barrier in revenge. As soon as 269 people in the Lai estate die, then one person will get out. In that case, Yazai can use the equipment to find the target. And they also wish him a successful completion of this task. Yazai asked, what is the magic barrier? After that, he pressed the button to view the characteristics of the magical barrier of revenge. Some strange thing came up, and Ijai asked, what is this thing? He remembers that when he first encountered it in his previous life, it was used in the war between the Dragon State and Japan. The system said that the magical barrier in revenge is a high-level tool, putting people in a special magical barrier. If someone goes beyond this barrier, then the owner of the barrier can track down the location of this person. The minimum duration of this barrier is one month. Izai said that the Dragon State then put a barrier together in the capital of Japan. And those who escaped from this barrier were killed in a few days. So it turns out that they were able to destroy the whole of Japan. But today, Yitsu will take this opportunity and see how useful this thing will be to him. The system congratulated him once again that the task has been activated and wishes him a successful completion of this task. There were notifications that he had killed seven people. Then another one came and Rong Jan began to look around and thought that he had never seen a person who was able to create such a strong aura of death. Compared to this strange man, Rong Jan is just a little boy. 
the young gentleman fell to the floor in fright, started shouting that here he is. He really came to kill him. A butler approached the young gentleman and, picking him up, told him to calm down. After all, Mr. Rong and his army of mercenaries are here, and therefore nothing will happen to him. The young gentleman was still shaking with fear, and he stuttered and said yes. Uncle Rong, he'll kill him. Uncle Rong approached this mysterious man, and he said that he didn't know why he came to Lai's house, but maybe they should talk. And he himself thought that if he was able to enter the house, it means that he has already dealt with all the guards outside. Although those guys were not well trained, but each of them is worth a dozen soldiers. How could this man kill them so easily? Is he a man or a god? Or maybe there's a whole army of them there. He is a man, but now he is the god of death for them. After which, Rong Jan made a gesture to his mercenaries, indicating that they should disperse and inspect the entire house. After that, the mercenaries began to carefully inspect the entire room, but then someone threw a glowing bomb at them. After looking at her, the mercenaries began to shout that their eyes, they're blind, they can't see anything anymore. What the hell is this? Are they really dying? While no one saw him, Yitsu stopped in the doorway. After that, while the mercenaries were blinded from the floor, spikes began to stick out. One of them shouted that this attack was thorns. Half of the mercenaries died from these spikes, and the rest of the mercenaries, Yazai killed with rotating swords, and cut off several mercenaries' heads. After that, he appeared behind Yi Rong Jan, but he quickly disappeared, as he should not have been noticed, and I left a bomb at his feet. There was an explosion. After some time, when the dust from the explosion had settled down a little, Rong Zhen cursed and thought that he could not even see the face of this enemy, and already all his commands had died. When the dust finally settled, he saw the corpses of his mercenaries. One of the survivors approached him and, turning to him, said that these spikes were similar to magic. Almost all the servants, the guards of the master were killed, and those spinning swords even killed a crocodile bear and a wolf. Rong Zhan shouted that it was enough, he had to tell him how many people were still left. The guy said that besides the young gentleman, Rong Jian himself, Zhao Bo and himself, there were still 66 guys left. Among them, 10 are seriously injured and several still have not recovered their eyesight. The young gentleman had a panic. He started shouting, what is all this doing? Who is he? He ruins all his plans and breaks their fun. He turned to his uncle Rong and said that he had to take revenge on him. He wants to see his corpse. He had to find him. The young master does not believe that he alone has coped with so many people. Rong Jan was also furious. Rong Jan turned to the butler, Uncle Zhao, and told him to take the young master and Skinny to the secret tunnel, and he and the remaining guys would detain the killer outside. Uncle Zhao said it was fine, but it seems to him that this person has not left, but is watching them all the time. Rong Jan put his hand on his shoulder and left the room without saying anything. Yitsu, who was actually here and watching them, thought it was beyond his expectations. He didn't think this butler was that smart. I thought they decided to split up and go outside to protect Lai Hayabo. The system notified him again about the requirements of the task. He must kill the remaining 269 people in the Lai Manor. He has already killed 200 out of 269. Yitsu was standing with his cocktail again and thought he would deal with the rest first. He wants to make sure that he can leave without any problems. After that, he decided to reveal information about Rong Zhang. The system provided him with information about him. The nickname of this man was the commander of the mercenary group, Rong Zhang. Title, Zombie Hunter. His level was 5. He also revealed information about Zhao the butler. His nickname was Zhao Kigwong. He was also the young master's butler. He has no rank, but the level was 2. Yizai, having studied all this information, thought that, Ah Rong Jan is a great fellow. In such a short time, I have already obtained three items of bronze level equipment. Then one of them shouted for him to come out, because it's not nice to hide from everyone. Yizai, grinning, thought, what kind of stupid methods are these? Does he really want to delay the time for Lai Hayabo to leave? Then he opened his backpack. The system said he could use the zombie cat rock to control the cat. He can also control with the power of thoughts. When using this tool, the zombie cat gets 60% of all its characteristics. Yitsu clicked on use. After that, Seth the cat appeared next to him with a zombie that he had recently killed. He took his little knife and threw it into the chandelier. The chandelier fell, and the shards from it killed several more mercenaries. There was a guy standing next to Rong Zhang. They were both at a loss and didn't understand what was going on here at all. But then a zombie cat attacked this guy and bit through his neck. After that, Yitsu himself stabbed another guy. Since he was wearing a mask, Rong Jan couldn't recognize him. He tried to find out its basic characteristics, but it didn't work out. He shouted that why couldn't he see the information about him. 
What kind of bullshit is this? That's enough already. But who is he anyway? Rong Zhan shouted at this mysterious guy that he was an impudent person. It's Su, looking back, thought that he had such a weak technique. Its characteristics are also low. Even personal qualities are none. They will reach a good level only in a few years. He hasn't been able to kill a single mercenary yet, but he already regrets it. The more hope there is, the greater the disappointment. Then he turned to them and said that now he knows what disappointment is. After killing several more mercenaries who were surrounding Rong Jan, he headed straight for him. Everything was so fast that Rong Jan didn't have time to do anything. And when Yazai was in front of him, he was very scared. He started shaking all over and he took a step back. After that, his legs couldn't hold him anymore, and he collapsed to his knees in front of Yazai and his zombie cat. Yazai ordered his zombie cat to hunt down Lai Hayabo and everyone else, while his zombie cat ran, performs the task and Itares again opened the magic barrier together and said that they are most likely still in the manor. From fear, Rong Jan went limp all over, and Yazai, putting his foot on his shoulder, called out to the commander of the mercenary group and asked what was he doing. Almost all of his people have already died. And I asked him what else he could call him commander. And Yitsu himself thought that he had killed all his mercenaries. In front of his eyes he had destroyed all his works. He had practically strangled his will to resist. Here it is, the magical barrier of revenge. When Rong Jan came to his senses, he shouted to him that who was he? Who is he anyway? He must tell him about it, otherwise he will not sleep a wink after death. Yitsu, grinning, asked that he would not sleep a wink. How great it sounds after all. Rong Jan, not understanding his intention to ask, looked at him. After that, Yitsu showed him his knife. Rong Jan was even more scared and pressed himself against the wall. After that, Yitsu cut his throat without saying a word. Yitsu put his foot on his head and said that he remembered the day when he called him a small insect and trampled him into the ground. He also said that I was an orphan, just garbage, and told him that how dare he challenge the Lee family. He started hanging around Rong Jan's corpse and saying that he also taught him one very important thing. It's not worth talking in vain before you're going to kill someone. It's better to act, not talk. Let him just look, because he's lying down now, they're chatting with him. Isn't that wonderful? He really didn't sleep a wink after his death. After which, Yazai walked on and thought that Rong Jan was dead. Now it can be said that he has dealt with the main defender of the Lai family. Now it will be much easier to take revenge on the Lee family. The young gentleman was just in a panic. He was rushing around the room to and fro. He asked Uncle Zhao that they wouldn't come here, would they? Butler Zhao tried to calm the young master down and said that of course not. After all, Mr. Rong will deal with those people. But then the corpse of a man was imprinted on the other side of the room. And this silhouette was visible to the young gentleman. The young master was simply terrified. He said that for sure this person was sent by Yitsu himself. First he killed Yao Jing Han, and now he came after him. Zhao the butler told the young master not to worry so much, because they had passed through a secret passage. He won't know they're here. The young gentleman asked what, and then how did he find out about his relationship with Yao Jing Han? And where did this scum find such a strong mercenary? The butler Zhao suggested and told the young gentleman that maybe it was Lin Jian who left such an assistant to his sons. The young gentleman turned to the butler Chao and began to shout that this question could not be. When Lin Jian was killed, they destroyed everything the Lin family had. They simply could not have any such assistant left. And if the head had not told them to leave someone alive, then this Lin Zilo would not be there now. Itsu was standing on the other side of the door and heard their entire conversation. After listening to everything to the end, he said that's how it was. The young master heard his voice and started shouting that this Lin Zilo, it was his exact voice. But how could he come here? How could he find this place? Izai pressed his back against the door and said that so he had been following him for a long time hadn't he? It turns out that there are so many more stories behind his back. Then he burst into their room. The young master told Lin Ziluo that he should die by his hand. Even then, he should have killed him. Izai unsheathed his sword and said to the young master, wonder who Lin Jian is, and why did they destroy everything the Lin family had? The young master laughed out loud and said that he didn't even know his own father's name. Although it serves him right, Lin Jian was going to inform on his father exactly when he was supposed to get a promotion. He was going to destroy everything their family had been working towards for many years, and that was why the Linny family was reduced to ashes. If it wasn't for the head, he wouldn't even be the only survivor of his Lin family. And he asked, wonder who helped him after all. If he had been alone then, his guards would have dealt with him long ago. Itsu said that all his words have no meaning, because no matter what he is saying now, he would destroy their entire Lai family anyway. The young gentleman still continued to speak in raised tones and asked, what is he? 
and he will destroy the entire Lee family, won't he? He clearly overestimated himself. After that, stood up, opened the door and burst into their room with Zombie Cat. Butler Zhao was already ready to strike at him, but Yatsu beat him to it. Zhao's butler was attacked by his Zombie Cat. You distracted Zia by her, Zhao hit her, throwing her aside. The system informed Yazai that the 30 minutes of summoning the Zombie Cat had already expired. Yatsu thought that just 30 minutes had passed, he really timed it very well. After that, he took off his mask and showed his true face. Zhao's butler said it was him, Lin Zilo. So he's the killer. It was all just him. The young gentleman was very shocked and said that it really was him. But it's just impossible to hack some orphan. How could he kill Rong Jian and enter the Lai estate? It just couldn't be him. Itsu said that people of the old school will not survive in the Doomsday game. As soon as the first seven days of the game pass, then their normal soldiers will not cope well even with one zombie on the street. The young gentleman backed away from the shock and said that it simply could not be that one person. And he asked that how could Lin Zilo become so strong. Itsu said that he would easily deal with the two of them alone. The first one the Yazai attacked was Zhao the butler. Yazai wanted to punch him in the face, but Zhao the butler put a block in time. Yazai thought that this butler was really strong. Even Rong Zhan fell on his face from this blow. But since it has come to this, then he will have to use another technique. While Yatizi Y was thinking about it, Zhao the butler has increased in volume and has now become a real jock. Yitsu drew his sword. The dagger palace started shouting at him, saying that he didn't know anything about the morality of Wushu. Yitsu told him that he wanted to cut off his head and asked that did he still have to ask for his permission. Maybe then he should get the consent of all generations of his relatives. After that, he used the spinning sword's skill. The spinning balls injured Zhao's butler, but did not kill him. Having received such an injury, Butler Zhao was very surprised. He said it just couldn't be, because he had been doing Chinese boxing for 50 years, he couldn't lose so quickly. He gathered his strength and stood up again, saying that he would not stop. But it was already very late. His eye distracted him with an explosion and rushed at him with a sword. Yitsu said that he could not leave the matter unfinished. Only when he was sure that the enemy was dead, then he would be able to calm down. What kind of pathetic and backward old man is he? The end of the world has come. He still thinks that Washu will help him. Zhao the butler fell to the floor and died. Yitsu stepped over his body and said that they proved that strength alone was not enough. You need to change your technique and develop speed. Otherwise, he is only on his way to death. He looked at the young master and saw that he had fainted. Itsu said how useless he was. After that, he walked up to him and pierced his leg with his sword. The young gentleman woke up from the pain and screamed. Itsu grinned and asked that he had woken up. Or was he going to pretend to be dead? After that, he began to pierce his leg in different places many times. The young master started shouting again and asking for help. He also started threatening Itsu, saying that his father, his father, would definitely deal with him. Yazai, grinning, took his sword and pierced the young master's other leg. The young gentleman fell to the floor and told him to kill him faster already. Yitsu asked him again, what kill him? Of course he would kill him. That's right, if he hadn't reminded me, he would have definitely forgotten about it. After that, he opened the system's warehouse, got a new knife. It was a blunt convulsive knife. The blunter the blade, the more difficult it is to cut something with it. After that, Yitsu began to torture the young master with this knife. The young gentleman started screaming again and tears started pouring out of his eyes. Yitsu pulled away from him and asked for forgiveness, said that this knife is so stupid and it doesn't even work to stick it inside. The young gentleman was shaking all over. After that, Yitsu swung this knife and said that this knife fully reflects his essence and plunged this knife into his hand. Yazai took out his knife and said that this knife reflects his path, which he walked for 10 years, risking his life. What a pity that the young master's sufferings do not amount to 1% of his. Hearing him, the young gentleman fell into a stupor and asked what 10 years. The young gentleman already looked very sorry and said that he had started to come up with ways to help Yazai only 3 years ago. When he found out about all this, Yitsu plunged this blunt knife into his other hand and told him that it was for his suffering. Then he leaned over to the young gentleman and, as if in secret, told him that it was because he was having a lot of fun. The young gentleman begged him to stop. Aitsu didn't think to stop. He stabbed his chest with this blunt knife and said that it was for his entire Lin family. Although he has never seen her, however, he must avenge his ancestors. He stabbed his knife again and said that, and this is for him. Yes, I don't care for anyone. The main thing is that this gives him great pleasure. After that, I opened the system warehouse again and took out the crucible tongs. When the young master saw these crucible tongs in the hands of Yazai, 
He shook even more, and he asked what he was going to do. Yet Su said that he should thank him, because he was the one who invented the most cruel methods of torture. And I asked him that how many people did he send to the next world. He shoved these crucible tongs into the young master's mouth and said that he admired him in terms of torture. He was just a genius. The young master said that he had once used such torture. Really? But Yitsu did not let him finish and took full advantage of these crucible tongs. The young master begged him to stop. But after a while he didn't say anything. Yitsu looked saddened and asked if everything was not enough for him. In his previous life, he had learned so many new ways of punishment, hurt so many people. Yitsu won't even do 1% with him from what he did with the steel ones. Well, okay, he's almost dead already. It's not so interesting to torture him anymore. It's a pity that he won't be able to use the things he researched on it now. After that, Yazai took his knife in his hands again and began to pierce his body. The young master asked what, or maybe he was still pretending. But the young master was indeed already dead. Yitsu stopped his tortures and, standing up, said that okay, he overestimated his acting skills. He couldn't have played that well. He killed his psyche, and this proves that his body was no longer able to withstand more. After which, he summoned his spinning swords again, which cut off the head of a young gentleman. In order not to get dirty with his blood, I took out an umbrella and opened it. After all this, just went outside. It was already night. He looked at the sky and said that, and the lie estate looks good under the night sky. Someone sent him an alert in which it was said that some changes had been detected in his state of mind. He received a talent called Thirst for Revenge. Yazai looked at this alert and asked if he had activated the talent, and clicked on the View It button. He was sent recommendations in which it was said that the gifted talents and skills in the Lone Day game are different concepts. Skills can be acquired through training, and talents can be activated under certain circumstances. For example, such as mental state, personal experience, personal characteristics. You can activate skills with the help of a skill book, and you can activate talents with the help of luck and real strength. After the system told him about the talent thirst for revenge, Itsu has carried out his revenge. Now his strength against enemies has increased. Characteristics After Yazai considers someone an enemy, then he can increase skills according to the degree of hatred for that person. The higher the degree of hatred, the more its characteristics increase. The highest percentage of performance enhancement is 20%. Yazai was a little surprised, happy. He thought that he didn't think that this thirst for revenge I seemed so useful. It can also increase its performance by 20%. The higher his stats are in the game, the more he will be able to increase them with this talent. And this means that this talent can be improved endlessly. After that, an alert came about the system which said that he had killed 269 people in the Lee estate. He had completed his task. The system also congratulated him on the fact that she received a reward for the task, one simple trainer, and one item of bronze level equipment. And I asked him if he wanted to take the award right now. I'm being unreasonable, I clicked on pick up. The system said that the bronze level equipment has already been received. She congratulated him on receiving a bronze level piece of equipment called a magic wand. The magic wand is a bronze level equipment, as well as the equipment of the magician's specialty. This wand allows you to increase magical abilities, as well as the speed of magic activation. Characteristics, plus 5% to skills, plus 5% to magic skill activation rate. Energy recovery rate increases by 20%. Yatsu said he couldn't use this thing. After that, he decided to put this magic wand in his backpack and he said it was a great thing for magicians, then he would sell it when the time came. He opened his backpack and thought that this automatic collection trainer is very convenient. He doesn't even have to worry about missing anything. But he also has to say that the tools for killing people in this game are simply barbaric. When someone kills a person in a doomsday game, their vault disappears, and then this person can no longer get things from there. He can only search the corpse and find something interesting for himself. But when players learn ways to kill people, then a life and death struggle begins. The Doomsday game does not encourage killing people. Izai searched Rong Zhen's corpse and found his valuable belongings, such as leather wristband, cleansing pendant, blue ring. And he took all these items for himself. Izai thought that the cleansing pendant, then decided to view it. The system said that this bronze level equipment, this cleansing pendant, has a cleansing property. Characteristics, plus one to energy. Additional skills, cleansing, eliminates negative body conditions, such as, they are less, dizziness, loss of vision. The freezing time of this pendant is 12 hours. Yazai thought that this pendant could save a life during a battle, and the rest is just useless to him, so he decided to throw everything into the vault. After that, he exhaled and told the system that he wanted to get a trainer. 
the system said that a simple trainer is now loading. After some time, the system said that the trainer was received. She congratulated him on getting a simple trainer, a level 1 absolute slave. Absolute level 1 rat allows you to get one zombie into slavery. Zombie strength cannot increase the strength of the host. A zombie slave will obey all the orders of his master. He will protect the owner even at the risk of his own life. Note, the zombie will also possess part of the host panel. The host can evolve with the zombies. If the zombie dies, the trainer will lose its power. Itsu was shocked and said that it was awesome. Are you really a zombie slave? He had never seen this before. He's really not dreaming, is he? He pinched himself to check it out and said it was just the best he could be. If this zombie really is completely sure of him, then then. His eye chuckled and asked what it meant that he wouldn't have to do the dirty work now, right? Ever since he found out that Yao Jingtao handed him over, then he can't trust anyone anymore. He was going to be alone for the rest of his life, but if he now had a hardworking zombie to accompany him, then maybe he could heal his heart wounds. He thought about it and asked that the effectiveness of this trainer called Absolute Slave increases if you increase its level. The system told him that with each new level, Yitsu could get another zombie slave in the Absolute Slave Trainer. Yitsu presented a picture to his head and shook his head and said that no, it's not realistic. But he is very interested in how much he has to raise his level in order to achieve such a result. This can be investigated. But which zombies are best suited for slavery? Itsu think that those who will then move to the status of zombie kings will be great for him. He opened the doors, entering the room, said that although all zombies have potential, however, it seems to him that after they become his slaves, they will not be able to achieve this. Progress is before. Well, he decided to think about it later. He had heard that he had hidden a lot of treasures in the basement of the Lai family. He wants to see if there is anything useful there for him. He went down to the basement and saw another door, which he easily opened. Then he went into the treasury of the Lai family. The jewels he saw made his eyes light up. He started digging into all the treasures and said that now that the end of the world has come, all these things are worthless, you can't even wipe your ass in the toilet. There were scrolls hanging on the walls, and Yitsu, approaching them, said that these scrolls with inscriptions seemed to have some use. But he did not remember which one, so he decided to put them in storage, and then deal with it. He found some kind of knife and, going up to him and taking it in his hands, said that they even stuck precious stones on the knife. Apparently, they are most afraid that other people will think that they have no money. And I also put this knife in storage. After trashing the entire Lai family vault, Yazai is satisfied, came out of there. Yazai wandered around Lai's estate and said that neither in the past nor in this life had he ever lived in such a luxurious estate. But today he will make up for it. He went inside the house and saw someone's silhouette. Since it was dark there, he did not understand what kind of person he was. He took out his flashlight and thought that there could be no living people in this house. Then he turned on the flashlight and found that it was a zombie. The system said it was a level 4 zombie. Its main characteristics are strength 25, energy 3, body quality 26 and comma speed 18. At night, all its characteristics increase. His talent is a natural strength. This is an epic level talent. His eyes strength can increase as the level increases. All items that are related to strength will increase the effectiveness in his hands. The skills he uses expend only his physical strength, but do not expend energy. Skill, strike with full force. All the force is concentrated in the fist. The impact power is 150% of the characteristics. Yitsu was really very surprised. He said that this zombie is very strong, and at night, he can't be distinguished from a bronze level boss at all. What kind of coincidence is this? After all, he had just received an absolute slave trainer and immediately found a suitable zombie for this. Yitsu began to look closely at this zombie. He hit the cage, attracting the attention of the zombie and told him that Yatizy was a man and he was a zombie, and asked him that shouldn't he throw himself at him. His energy is only three, if you put him in human society, then he would be considered an imbecile. He cleared his throat and said that he was fine with character. After that, he asked the system, what, can he choose this zombie as his slave? The system said yes, but since his spiritual power is very small, and if you add up all the characteristics, they do not exceed the characteristics of Yazai. Yazai said that this zombie is really good. He has an enviable talent, but here are his spiritual powers. After which, after thinking for a while, he told the system that okay, he chooses this zombie as his slave, and he himself thought that okay, even if he was stupid, but he was obedient. The system once again asked him if he wanted to choose this zombie as an absolute slave. Yitsu said yes, and pressed the right button. Izai carefully watched the transformation of this zombie into his slave. 
but then he was very surprised and asked if he was really resisting. Is he still resisting? Will he regret his choice? The system notified Yatsu that the enslavement was completed. He must also come up with a name for his zombie. His eye said that since this guy is so big and strong, and even his epic level natural strength, he will call him silly. The system said he called the zombie silly, and congratulated him on the fact that he had successfully received a silly man as a slave. Now Yatsu can give any orders, even under the threat of death, the zombie will protect him. The absolute level 1 trainer was tied to a silly. A panel was created for the silly. The player's name was Silly, and he was level 4. His experience is 32 out of 50. Reputation. Data has been lost and cannot be recovered. He had zero coins. Spatial storage. Data has been lost and cannot be recovered. Main characteristics. Strength 25, energy 3, body quality 26 and comma speed 18. He has no ranks. His talent is a natural strength. His skill is to hit with all his might. And he doesn't have any equipment. Also, the system sent Yazai a recommendation in which it was written that since the silly player's panel was embedded in the system, it is impossible to restore data on storage and reputation, and it is also impossible to restore experience for killing zombies and rewards for tasks. Silly will develop in the same way as an ordinary zombie. He can get coins for killing zombies, and he also has 1% explosion from equipment and items. Itsu turned to the fool and told him to prove his strength. He doesn't believe that this cage is capable of holding zombies with such characteristics. After that, the fool grabbed the cage and began to break it. It wasn't difficult for him, and soon he got out to freedom. Yitsu disappointed, looked at the stupid ball and asked himself what and what he wanted. Did he really think that he would behave differently? If he understands the order, then it's already good. Yitsu opened the leather wristband card, and I decided to equip her with a silly. After that, Izai clicked on the main characteristics. The main characteristics of the silly were highlighted to him. Right now, his strength was 26, energy 3, body quality 27, and speed 18. There was also a warning written in which it was said that these zombies become stronger at night. I said with sophistication that if he already has such high indicators, then what will happen at night? After which, yawning and turning his back on the silly, I told him to wait for him here and he would go to bed in the meantime. Silly should guard the entrance and not let anyone bother him now. Morning came. Yatsu woke up in a huge and luxurious bed and, getting up, stretched and went to the exit. He opened the door and saw a silly man behind the door, who stood there and didn't move. Yatsu came up to him and praised him, saying that he was a great fellow. He did very well. Silly was very happy to hear the praise. Yatsu asked him if he had eaten any other zombies. He asked this question, as there were two dead zombies lying at the feet of the Silly. Hearing this question, Silly shook his head negatively. Yatsu chuckled and said that he was really different from the others. His eye went to the table and took out some cards, set the table. He sat down and decided to eat, then he heard a sound. He turned around abruptly and saw that Silly was drooling and asking, with gestures, that Itsu share with him too. Itsu asked him what did he really want to. Silly began to nod his head furiously. His eye said that then they could eat together, and he himself thought that he had never seen such a strange zombie. He doesn't eat any other zombies or people, but loves ordinary food. He took out some more food cards and told Silly to sit down and start eating. Yitsu watched him closely and thought that he didn't know where to put all these food cards. But now Silly will help him with this. Initially, he wanted to take revenge on the young master at the 5th, 6th level. But now it's over, I'm at level 8, so there's no point in going on quests, raising my level. With his equipment and the help of a Silly, perhaps he should try to change his specialty. He opened the map and said that the next target is the museums of the capital of the Mo. He needs to find a scroll of transition to another specialty. His eye thought that he remembered that there was a scroll hidden in the museum that allows you to change the player's specialty. The system placed Yitsu in the specialty change space. After that, a warning popped up, which said that after activating the specialty change space, the player must pass three tests, and then the player will be able to get a scroll. If the player fails to complete the task at the set time, the transfer will not take place, and the player will be killed. Yazai smiled and thanked Lai Hayabo. In his previous life, he and his roommates found out that treasures were hidden in the museum, and that's why they wanted to go and find out if this was the case. But on the way there, he received a message that Yao Jiang Tao was cheating on him with Lai Hayabo. He really wanted to take revenge on him, but he did not expect that this brat had bribed his comrades. And then they dragged him into the space of changing his specialty. His comrades really wanted him to fail the tests and die, but they did not think that he would be able to pass it. 
and this scar on his face, which he received during this quest, has been with him for 10 years. And it was the 8th day after the start of the game from Doomsday. And now it's already day 4, so it's unlikely that there are still people in the museum. Without this young master, he should have better luck. Yitsu slammed the card shut and looked at the silly guy who had been eating food all this time and said that only he was attracting too much attention. But then he came up with something and said that for sure. After some time, when Silly had finished everything, the two of them left the house. Itsu dressed up the silly man, and now he looked like a normal person, even though he was no longer one. Itsu took another look at his creation and thought that it would be much better this way. After that, they reached the museum of the capital of the Mo. There were a lot of zombies inside the museum. Izai furrowed his brows and thought that it looked like someone had already been here, so he should be careful. After that, he took out his sword and began to deal with all these zombies. Izai dealt with them very quickly, and the system congratulated him on getting a one-time bronze level item. Itsu stopped and looked into his backpack. A disposable item, it was a scroll of fireballs. The fireball scroll was a bronze level disposable item. After use, fireballs appear, with which you can attack the enemy and you can also cause an explosion. Itsu said that this is quite good. Then Yitsu turned around and looked at the silly. Silly was surrounded by zombie girls, apparently they really liked him. Yitsu put on his winged cape again and began to spy on the silly. Looking around the corner, he thought that silly does not attack zombies of his own free will, and other monsters do not touch him either, which means silly can approach zombies, unexpectedly attack them, and can also open treasure chests. It turns out that this is how Yuzai can avoid a bunch of problems. But if the fool opens the chest, then he will get neither experience nor reputation, and will not be able to expand the vault. That's why this is an empty waste. So Yitsu decided that he would look at the situation. In his previous life, on the eighth day after the end of the world, most of the zombies had already been killed by other players. Yitsu with a silly will deal with all these zombies is problematic. The specialty change scroll can't be moved to another place, otherwise Yazai would just send a fool for it. Yitsu was watching through binoculars for people who were on the roof of another building. They were arguing about something very violently, and Yitsu decided to read their lips what they were talking about. He could only recognize a few phrases. The man in the cap said that you need to kill all these zombies and enter the museum. Another man said they didn't have enough people. Yitsu grinned and thought that he needed to practice lip reading more. He doesn't really understand what they're saying there. So it turns out that they left all these signs of a fight. If he manages to join them and go to the museum with them, then he will be able to avoid a lot of problems. Meanwhile, this team has assembled a meeting. Their leader said that it was fine, then they would decide that. It was Gao Dong, and he said that when 200 people are recruited, they will move out on the road. Weapons and they will have to prepare themselves. A small group of men rebelled. One of them cursed and said he couldn't wait that long. Another man, pointing at Gao Dong with his finger, asked what to wait until 200 people were recruited. Can't he see that they are already strong? They can move right now. Someone from this team supported him and said that yes, he really wants to eat roast lamb. The other said that's right, the food cards will run out soon. What is Gao Dong thinking about? Does he really want them to die right here? He wants to take their resource cards, doesn't he? But then a woman stood up for Gao Dong and slapped one of the men in the face, saying that hands off. This woman's name is Tian Jing. This man got up and asked her that did she really think that if she had a bronze level iron stick, she was better than him. She hit him. If she's nicer to him, he won't fight with her. He pulled his hands up to her face and asked, what's up? What'd she think about it? Tian Ning Jing pushed his hand away and said she knew what he was thinking. And she asked him that if she was nicer to him, would she be sick, would that suit him? This man got very angry and, calling her names, told her to just wait, because he gentlemen would not deal with her. When he gets the chance, they will have so much fun with her that her own mother will not recognize her. Tian Ning Jing asked what he was. Is it with her? They're better, let him roll up his lip. Let him take care of his cockerel. That's what he made fun of. After these words, everyone started laughing at this guy. He told her that then she should not be offended. Someone asked if he was really inciting a woman to fight. Another turned to Tian Jin herself and told her to show him how beautiful her body curves during a fight. Gao Dong stood up and shouted that it was enough to quarrel. Everyone should listen to him. At this moment, just the same for the show, Yitsu along with the silly. Yitsu was wearing a mask and thought, is it really him? Yitsu recognized Gao Dong. He thought that it seemed, and he saw him on the day when he activated the scroll in his previous life. It seems that his name is Gao. Somehow there, everyone immediately started up and started looking at Yazai. 
The girl asked him who he was and why he came here. Yitsu didn't answer anything, just about the show further. He got in the way of Gao Dong, who asked that he did not know his name. But why did he come to the Death God Club? Someone supported him and said yes, what is his name? Someone also tried to scan it, but all its main characteristics were hidden. But they could read the basic characteristics of the silly. Someone, after reading his characteristics, thought that why is this guy called silly? Yatizi Y said that they passed here with his friend. We saw that there were a lot of people here, so they decided to ask if it was possible to join them. Gao Dong was very happy and said that, of course, welcome to the Death God Club. He is a representative of the Death God Club and his name is Gao Dong. Itsu approached him and said that he was their representative. His name is Lin Luo, and this is his stupid friend. He's dumb and dumb. I used to be a bodyguard for rich people. Gao Dong grabbed Yazai's hand and said that it was fine. He invites them to join their club. And he himself thought that if this person is stupid, then it means that he can be easily deceived, right? Yitsu looked at the silly and said that it was fine. Now they are in a group. And he himself thought that he did not think that it would all be so easy. After that, he and Silly went to Gao Dong's room. Gao Dong sat down at the table opposite them and called out to them with showing that they were like his old brothers. And asked them what they might need something. He can help them with the organization. Itsu told him that he and his friend really like to fight, so their main goal is to become stronger. They like to kill zombies and raise their level, but they didn't come here to develop. Gao Dong asked that they want to become stronger. He has a lot of books with skills, and he is ready to give them to them for the sake of friendship. Itsu, he was very surprised and thought that books with skills, and are they really ready to give them to them so easily? And shaking his head negatively, he said that, probably, these books are very valuable. To which Gao Dong said that they were brothers with brothers to share, and handed him one of these books. Izai was even more surprised and thought that this was really a book with skills. Maybe he's doing something wrong, or are all the players so generous in this life? He opened the book, and a card fell out to him, which was called Blind Rage. The system said that Blind Rage is a combat skill. After activation, he plunges into a state of loss of control and reason. He becomes a fighting machine. All characteristics are increased by 20 or even 50%. This percentage depends on the degree of rage. The duration of the action is 2 minutes. After this time, the player is placed in chaos. The higher the degree, the more time he stays in chaos. This skill has a lot of side effects, so he should use it very carefully. Yitsu thought that free cheese only happens in a mousetrap. Is there during the use of this skill, someone loses their mind. Then what is the difference from zombies? At least the left skills of a person in a state of mind loss are much higher than with him. Gao Dong said that although the side effects are quite dangerous, however, this skill can save his life at the most difficult moment. As I thought, does he really think he's that dumb? He doesn't use the skill book himself, but he gives it to another person, isn't it? But Yazai didn't think that this guy would react so quickly. Yazai closed the book and thanked Brother Gao. He said he really appreciated his concern. He really likes this book. Yitsu asked him if there was anything else he wanted to tell him. If he has nothing else, then he and his friend will go to raise their level. After that, the two of them got up and prepared to leave. Yitsu thought, was he really smiling just now, or was it just his imagination? Yazai was already standing in the doorway when Gao Dong shouted at him to stop. Yitsu turned around and asked him what is it. Gao Dong apologized to him and said that he had another card with a bucket of fried chicken. And he asked what, maybe they would eat together. And he himself thought that after all, he was still fooling him with this skill book. He needed to give him something good as compensation. But Yitsu refused, said that he and Silly would go the best, look for zombies in order to earn experience points. And he himself thought that he was already very ashamed that he had taken the book with the skill from him. If he also takes the card, he will die of shame here. Gao Dong told him that if the two of them were short of food and water, they could just take everything from the warehouse. Yazai felt very uncomfortable, and he told Gao Dao that then he should thank him for the two of them. Gao Dong said that they could leave now, and if they needed help, then let them contact him at any time. When the two left, Gao Dong thought that Brother Lin was not bad. He gave him such a bad skill book, and he didn't refuse, just a great guy. As soon as Yatizi Y together with the silly, some strange man with his team came out of Gao Dong's room to meet him. When this man was close enough to him, I told Zai that he was his, that he was not threatening him, he was just warning him. He shouldn't have too much to do with Gao Dong. Otherwise, even if his friend knows how to fight. But Yitsu interrupted him and, turning to the fool, asked what he was worth. It should work. The two men who accompanied their leader were already standing with pistols. This man grinned and said that this is a big guy. But he's only at level 4. All his guys are also on 4. 
but the silly guy dealt with this man very quickly. Itsu asked the remaining guys that do they really want to die too, but the guys were so scared that they even dropped their guns and said no, they didn't want to. When my tears left with the silly, these guys approached the corpse of their leader. One of them said that he had twisted his head with one blow. Another said what a horror it was. But Jia Tai always competed with Gao Dong for the place of the gang leader. Maybe it was Gao Dong who called these guys to help. He decided that it was so easy to melt down with a competitor and at the same time warn others. To which he was told that anything is possible. Then Gao Dong came out of the room and asked them what was going on here. Don't they have anything to do? Then one of the guys came up to him and whispered something in his ear. Gao Dong, after listening to the whole story, asked that Lin's brother and friend killed Jia Tai, didn't they? Is this really serious? The guy who told him the whole story said they didn't know the guy with him. There seemed to be another one. And his name seemed to be stupid. Gao Dong said that brother Lenz was giving him just a great gift. And he himself thought that he had killed Jia Tai in front of others. He unknowingly helped him a lot. It is unlikely that anyone will apply for the post of head of the club in the near future. After which, he commanded that they should find people and bury Jia Tai's body. We need to bury him with dignity. Let them divide all the valuable items that they can find with him among the guys. The guy accepted the boss's order and went to execute it. Meanwhile, Yazai, along with Silly, were sitting in their room. Yitsu was reading a book with skills, and Silly was eating meat. Itsu told the system that he had a question, and he asked if the fool could attack him. Can he do something evil towards him? The system told him that in any situation, Silly would protect his master. This has nothing to do with his level of awareness. Itsu slammed the book shut and said he understood. He stood up and said it meant he could control his behavior. Then he can use the skill of blind rage on the fool, thereby increasing his characteristics. Izai handed him a skill book and told him to study, okay. Itsu thought that it was great to have a brainless zombie in your subordination. However, he himself must try and go to level 10. At least his strength will increase by two times after moving to level 10 and changing his specialty. After that, he told Silly that they had to go, they had to level up, and they would just try out a new skill. The library of the capital is a great place for this purpose. There should also be a game store there. After that, the two of them came to the game store. Itsu put his hand to the door in order to open it. The system said that welcome to the game store, they wished them successful purchases. Then the door opened and Itsu went inside. There were system windows on which weapons, jewelry, masks were written. Izai looked around carefully and thought that he had 6,000 gold coins. If we assume that one piece of high-quality bronze-level equipment costs about 2,000 coins, then he will be able to buy trousers, gloves, and a bib. But while he was focused on his purchases, he did not notice how a hand came out and reached right behind him. It's a hand that popped right out of the system window. Izai managed to dodge in time. He looked very scared and said that it brought, it almost got him. Itsu stood up and walked away from that hand. I thought that there seemed to be no damaged places in the store. Apparently, this zombie was originally inside. Half of this zombie has already appeared here. Then Yazai pulled out his sword and thought that this zombie lives in a game store. He took them out and thought that he had already met such people in his previous life. Wasn't the game supposed to deal with such zombies? The zombie had already completely crawled out of the system window and headed straight for Yazai. But the zombie didn't have time to do anything because Yatizy had already killed him. The zombie was dead. Yitsu asked the system to activate automatic collection. He received another box and thought that it was probably a weapon with high performance indicators and maybe even equipment that changes them. But when he opened this drawer, he received a card with toilet paper. Yitsu was very upset. Assistant congratulated his on the fact that he received a card with a material resource, a piece of toilet paper. The cost of its purchase was 6,000 gold coins. He has zero coins remaining. The purchase is completed and the store is closing. Itsu was completely sad. After that, he got into a real store and, looking around, said that okay, he'd better go and see what the silly guy has there. Silly has already managed to fill up several zombies during this time. Itsu praised him. Then there was a system alert, which said that they congratulated him on having received a disposable bronze, level tool and old straw scarecrow. He was also congratulated for the fact that he received bronze, level equipment, double strike gloves. He also received a bronze level equipment called the Hue and Chu Sword. And he also got another new tool. And this new tool matches his Tang Sword. With the help of the Fusion Stone, he can merge and level up. Up to level 9, Yazai remained to gain 40% experience. Itsu grinned and said that after all, automatic collection is a very useful thing. With his help, he won't miss a single thing. 
After that, he pressed the button to view the characteristics of new items. One item it was an old straw scarecrow. An old straw scarecrow is a bronze, level disposable item. After installing the scarecrow, the attention of hostile creatures switches completely to him. After destroying the scarecrow, the enemies start attacking the player again. Itsu, after reading the entire description of this subject, said that it was very good. It could really save his life. Two item it was a double strike glove. A double punch glove. This bronze level equipment will increase the effectiveness of strikes by several percent during use. Characteristics and strength plus one body quality plus one. After a strike with increased efficiency by five percent, two strikes follow. Itsu said that it is very similar to rotating swords. Even if the impact efficiency does not increase so much, but it is also very good. And the last item was Hu and Shu's sword. This sword was a bronze level equipment, a straight bladed steel sword that has been hardened by fire. Its characteristics are strength plus three. Izai took out this sword and said that if you bring the strength to the limit and discard all side effects, then perhaps this weapon is the strongest of all bronze level weapons so far. After which, he decided to use the double strike gloves. The system asked him if he wanted to use a stone with influence for the Tang sword and Hu and Shu ball. Isai thought that after the fusion, the power of the weapon would be a level higher than that of the original version. He thinks that the merger will definitely not get any worse. The system told him that although it has a trainer system, but it can only guarantee the explosion coefficient, however, it cannot guarantee the rest. Isai took a deep breath and still decided to merge. He thought that in the worst case, he would break one sword, and if everything goes well. The system told him that he had activated the fusion stone. The fusion of the Tang sword and the Hu and Shu sword is now underway. He was asked again if he was sure he wanted to merge. After this fusion, the weapons will be impossible to recover. The merge has already started and there are 30 minutes left. While the two of them were waiting for the 30 minutes to pass, Yazai set the table again. During the meal, the system informed him that they were congratulating him on the kind of fusion already completed. He received a sword that decapitates silver-level demons. Izai was very surprised and asked what the silver-level weapon was. He immediately rushed to the system window. The system told him that the sword that decapitates demons is a silver-level equipment. This sword was created from the fusion of the Aten sword and the Huan Shu sword. Characteristics, Strength plus 4, Body Quality plus 1. This sword has the ability to gradually recover damage after a fight. His passive skill is decapitation. During decapitation, the speed increases by 20%. After a successful attack, the player can get additional points to the strength for 3 minutes. The maximum superposition is 2 layers. Yangtze was delighted and said that the characteristics are simply amazing. With such weapons, he will be able to become the strongest player. Currently, the main characteristics of the Azai player were Strength 27, Energy 19, Body Quality 18 and Speed 23. After all this, Yitsu called out to the silly and said they had to go. It's time for them to pick up the scroll from the library. They came to the map, and Yitsu began to figure out how to get them to the library. He told silly not to worry about his defense this time. He had to go ahead and attack. They needed to enter the library. After some time, they got to the library, where there were a lot of zombies. Yitsu wielded his new ball about stupid zombies scattered with his fists. After killing several zombies, the system informed Yitsu that he had successfully moved to level 9 and received one free point to the characteristics for this. Before the next level, he needs to gain 1000 experience points. Yitsu exhaled and said that finally. But then he saw something and asked the fool what he was doing. Silly, apparently, was in a wild rage. Yazai examined him carefully and thought that he looked like some kind of man-like beast. Yitsu was even a little horrified by this. He coughed so that Silly would pay attention to him and say that he would stay here for a while, and he himself would go and clean the toilet. Let him go up to the top floor in 10 minutes, he will wait for him there. After 30 minutes, they were both on the roof. There were a few zombies there, and Yazai told Silly to activate Blind Rage. Silly activated it. To make him even angrier, Yazai told him that these few zombies had eaten all his fried chicken, and he had nothing left for tomorrow. After that, Silly rushed to these zombies to scatter and kill them. While the fool was enticed, Yatizi Y Duty sat down near the battlefield and took out a map with a mug of Longjing green tea. From what he saw, he even choked and thought that wow. Is Blind Rage really that strong? The system reported that Blind Rage is 50% and Nighttime Gain is also 50%. Yitsu thought that the characteristics of the Silly increased by two times. His fighting strength is truly terrible. 
That's what real natural power means. After some time, the system reported that blind rage had entered a state of freezing. Silly stopped abruptly. He staggered and fell. His body was even smoking. Itsu was still under the impression and thought that it was really tin. Does this really happen in the Doomsday game? The system sent him an alert in which it was said that the colon force compensation, the feeding rate increased by 30% during the meal. The rate of assimilation of food would correspond to the severity of wounds, and also compensate for the strength spent. Itsu thought that Silly was getting more and more on the path of a fighter. He gave the fool some kind of drug and told the system to activate the automatic collection. The system congratulated him on receiving a two-piece equipment enhancement scroll, and he also received an elixir of strength of three pieces. He also received elixirs, energy two pieces, equipment enhancement scroll two pieces. He received a protective breastplate. Protection breastplate is a bronze level equipment. This bib, which is made of gold, has a protective function. Characteristics, body quality, plus one speed plus one. The functions of this protective bib, the protection creates a transparent protective layer. The activation time is 3 seconds. If a blow is struck that exceeds a certain degree of force, then the armor may break. The freezing time is 1 hour in case of damage 12 hours. The energy elixir is a bronze, level disposable item. After ingestion, this elixir can restore 10% of energy. In the future, with each new minute, 5% of energy can be restored. The action time is 4 minutes. After use, the freezing time is 30 minutes. Itsu said that the new equipment. He really hopes that after strengthening, the ring that absorbs blood will match the settler's embezzlement that he carries during the battle. But he's lucky, so he decided to take a chance. The system instantly strengthened his ring, and it fell right into his hand. The system informed him that the reinforcement was finished. She also congratulated on the fact that she received a ring that absorbs blood plus two. A ring that absorbs blood is a bronze level equipment that is able to take away enemy forces during a fight. Her characteristics, strength plus two body quality plus two. Itsu was very worried that he would not succeed. But exhaling, he said that it turned out very well. Then he clicked equip. The system told him that the ring that absorbs blood plus two 12% of the opponent's strength goes into the player's body. Izai immediately decided to try out his new ring and threw everything into battle. After he defeated a few more zombies, he revealed his main characteristics. The main characteristics of the Zai yachts were Strength 28, Energy 19, Body Quality 20, Speed 24. After that, Yitsu turned to the fool and said that it was enough to rest already. They need to go upstairs. After that, Yitzi Y together with the silly man went into some strange room. There was utter chaos. Yitsu thought that such a thing could be done and even only the boss could have such power. When he came here in his previous life, all the bosses were already destroyed, this time they managed. He really wants to see what kind of boss is here. He stood at the door and read the sign on top, which said that this was the store of the capital of Mo. After that, he reached for the handle and opened the door, entering the room. The system congratulated him on finding the store of the capital of Mwa, and he also successfully received 10 reputation points. Each player can only be in the store for 30 minutes a day. If he exceeds the required 30 minutes, he will receive a fine. And if he refuses to pay his fine, the system will simply destroy him. Itsu said he understood. Then the system told him that welcome to the store of the capital of Mo. Since he is the first player to visit this store, he receives a one-time discount of 50%. Itzy asked, what else is a discount? He turned to the fool and told him to guard him. After that, Yazai went inside the store. He clicked on the view catalog button. He was shown a memo to the customers of the store of the capital of the Mo. This memo stated that it was not forbidden to use force in the store. If during the fight the buyer damages the walls, shops, then he will have to pay compensation for repairs. If the walls or floor of the store are contaminated during the battle, the buyer must pay compensation for cleaning. The amount of compensation will be set according to the situation, so they wish him a pleasant shopping experience. Itsu thought that everything was the same as in his previous life. He hopes that while he is shopping, no one will break into the store and he will not have to pay compensation. Then he went into the tools. One, what did he see? There was a light ball whose price was a thousand gold coins. There were 100 such light balls available. Two, the item was a bow for short distances, the price of which was 500 gold coins. There were also 100 pieces in stock. The next item was a scroll of ice spike techniques, the price of which consisted of 3000 gold coins. There were three pieces available. And the last item was amphetamine, the price of which was 1,000 gold coins. The availability was 20 pieces. Itsu thought he was too rich. What is it? Then he received an alert from the store, 
which said that they could see that he was dissatisfied with the products presented. Therefore, hidden goods will be opened for him. Every store in every city has specialized hidden goods. These products are available only to those players who have made a big contribution to the city, and he has the right to buy hidden goods. Itsu wondered what kind of contribution he had made to the city. Then he said that okay, he should see what kind of hidden goods there are in the store of the capital of Mo. He pressed on and from what he saw he opened his eyes wide. The store greeted him and called him a respected devoted citizen. Itsu asked the system if it was definitely not mistaken. The system said no, he should go to the main page of the store and see for himself. He did as the system told him and the one item he saw was a badge of honor of the capital, the price of which was 200,000 coins. There was one piece available. To the item was a suit of the guardian of order of the capital of Mo, the price of which was 12,000 gold coins. There were 10 pieces in stock. In three, the product was the imprint of the defender of the capital of Mo, the price of which was 10,000 coins. There were 20 pieces available. Itsu thought he had enough for the last two. Now his balance was 65-45 coins. He thought that since there is a discount now, he will buy expensive. He chose the costume of the guardian of order of the capital of Mo. Yazai thought that next time he would buy the imprint of the defender of the Mo capital. The system told him that 6,000 coins were needed to buy a suit of the guardian of the order of the capital of the Mo. The initial price was 12,000 coins and asked him what he wanted to buy. Itsu clicked on yes. After that, the store asked him what kind of product does he wish to purchase, to which Itsu replied that nothing was needed. Then the system thanked him for visiting and told him to come again. Yazai left the store and opened the suit of the guardian of the order of the capital of Mo. It was a special diamond level outfit, a special suit of excellent quality and with excellent characteristics. It is made only for those who have made a huge contribution to the capital of Mo. Also, this suit had several functions. One function was metamorphosis. After the player puts on a suit, all his equipment will be hidden. Their effect will be in effect. Two, the function was called comfort. The suit has the function of self-cleaning, temperature regulation, the very restoration of blood isolation and more. The next function was greatness. The capital of my players who have a worse reputation will not be able to attack and their characteristics will also be reduced by 10% within 5 minutes. The next function was order. The owners of these clothes will be able to establish order in the capital of the Mo. Every day, he can publish buildings in the capital of the Ministry of Defense that have been approved by the system. Rewards, fines for the building will depend on the level of its reputation. A difficult task determines the content. He does not have to pay a reward. Itsu thought it was pretty good. No wonder this costume is called special. After that, he decided to put on all the equipment. He thought he wanted to see what this suit was capable of in reality. After that, he decided to activate and put on this suit. 1. What did he decide to do? This is to try the metamorphosis function. The system asked him that he wanted to use the effect of the guardian of the order of the capital of the Mo on the protective breastplate. Itsu said yes. Then he made a protective breastplate. After that, he indulged several more times to take off and put on a protective bib. The system notified him that his 30-minute limit would end soon. He should be careful. Itsu thought that the effect of metamorphosis is not bad. Now he has to put on a suit and his activity, mobility and stealth will immediately increase to the maximum. After that, he grabbed the silly man by the hand and said that he needed to hurry up. Silly looked at him questioningly. Itsu said that if you use the order function on a fool, you can destroy the whole world. Hearing this stupid show, I was very scared. Then Yazai said that to kill a legendary level boss. The system said that this task did not pass the system check. Itsu did not lose hope and said that he would destroy the library with one blow. But the system repeated the same thing. Itsu said that then to spy on the girl changing clothes. The system said that the task was checked by the system and asked him what he wanted to publish. Itsu was very embarrassed and shouted that no, he was joking. Then he came up with something and asked that you kill the boss of the library. The system said that the task had passed the system check and asked if he wanted to publish. Itsu said yes. Itsu thought that it would be possible to use this function in order to determine if there is a boss nearby. The system said that the reward for the task is 200 coins and 50 experience. After that, he told Silly that they needed to go and deal with the boss. Meanwhile, a guy and a girl were hiding in some strange place. The girl was very worried and asked that he wouldn't find them. The guy comforted her and said he shouldn't. This girl saw something and screamed in fear. The guy hugged her and covered her mouth with his hand, told her to be silent. Well, he himself saw the monster that had penetrated them. This monster had a huge and long tongue. And with this tongue of hers, she licked the cheek of this guy. 
After that, the guy, having plucked up the courage, told Xiaomei that they needed to run. He was already very happy, because he saw the door. But at the last moment, Xiaomei was grabbed by the monster's leg and pulled towards her. Xiaomei was dead. The guy next to him found a mop and, calling this monster, rushed at him shouting that he would take revenge on him. After a while, Yitsu came in here with the silly, and have already seen two corpses and monsters that devour them. Yitsu said that such people do not live long, even after going through the instructions for survival in the game. We can assume that they have suffered. He looked at this monster and said that if he hadn't heard their characteristics, he wouldn't have known that he was hiding here, would he? The system congratulated him on finding a special zombie. Special zombies go through the same process as human specialists. Special zombies can have their own progression paths. Bosses progress the fastest at the initial stage. Differences may be detected. Zombie killers are like scent assassins who have high mobility and the ability to attack strongly. They feed on the human brain. Through eating the human brain, they enhance their intellectual abilities. And the zombie that saw on the show was a climbing zombie. The bronze level boss. Igor was 10. Main characteristics. Strength 23. Energy 15. Body quality 8 and speed 23. Talents. Climbing. These zombies can climb walls and other non-sliding surfaces. He also has several abilities, such as stab in the back. He is able to inflict a wound with his claws and 110% of his strength. If the attack occurs from the back, then the severity does not double earlier. Illusory attack. It can merge with the floor or with the wall and suddenly attack. If it attacks the enemy from the front, it deals damage of 80% of its strength. Yitsu thought that his ability and talent combined perfectly. When this zombie bot noticed Yitsu, he started rushing around him. The system notified the excise that he had found a bronze level climbing zombie boss, and now he had a new task called the Hatred of the Climbing Zombie. The system also scanned a task called the Hatred of a Climbing Zombie and optimized it. A library employee stole books, for which the director scolded him right before the end of the world. But after the end of the world, the employee turned into a zombie and killed the director. He will take revenge and kill everyone who loves books. Requirements, tasks, kill the climbing zombie. Reward, 100 reputation points, 600 coins, 300 experience points, one piece of bronze, level equipment, the reward has been optimized. The time to complete the task is 12 hours. There is no fine. If he speaks out or does not complete the task, then there will be no fines. Yitsu thought that he didn't know that there was an opportunity to play with other people in the Doomsday game. It's a pity he came too late. After that, he told Silly to drive him up the wall and not let other zombies come here. Silly tried to attack the climbing zombie, but he used an illusory attack. Then he attacked the fool from behind. But then Itsu came to his aid. He cut off this zombie's paws with his sword, and I asked him if he was really scared. There is nothing special about it. This monster tried to stop his sword too with his other paws, but I also chopped them off. This zombie started crying and running away. He started shouting something unintelligible, but Yitsu made it out and realized that he was shouting to be rescued, saying that there was a man here who kills zombies. Yitsu is out of boredom and earthly and said he was giving him a chance. He counts to one and let him run. When Yazai counted to one, he activated the acceleration function of the strong wind boots, and also by activating the space delay function for a short time. When we got close enough to this zombie, he used his spinning swords. There was an explosion, and the system congratulated Yazai for killing a bronze level 10 rank zombie boss. For this, he gets 50 experience points and 100 coins. He was also congratulated for completing the task of revenge of the climbing zombie, and he received a reward for this task, 100 reputation points, 600 coins, 300 experience points and one item of bronze level equipment and he also moved to level 10 and got one point for the characteristics of his choice. He has reached level 10, and since he has not changed his specialty, he can no longer raise his level. His points will accumulate, he must wait for the opening of the transition channel to another specialty. His eye said it looked like he should speed up his search for the scroll. Another notification came from the system, in which it was said that she was congratulated on successfully transitioning to level 10, and was told that he had received one super trainer. Does he want to take it right now? Yitsu said that he would soon pass before the newcomers, if he switched to another specialty first. Then he would announce it to the whole world, and decided to pick up this trainer. The system said that the trainer is loading. After some time, the system congratulated him on the fact that he received a super trainer, the Yin and Yang twins. Thanks to this, he can have two specialties. Note, one this is one specialty that he received will be shown to the rest. Two there are no restrictions on the specialty, 
but if he consistently develops the same indicator of characteristics, then he will get the highest result. In 3, he can use only 50% of the free characteristics for 2 specialties, rounded up. So now I have received 2 specialties. Itsu said it was against the rules. Does the Doomsday game want him to become the king of this world? 